All right, well, it's finally time for Phantom versus the Calamity to see which of the two Ganons will prevail. So Ganon versus Ganon. So the Phantom Ganon armor is probably one of the coolest sets in the game as you literally get to be the villain from Ocarina of Time. So it's very cool. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not one I really utilize a lot, but that's why I kind of want to do a run just around it. But utilizing the bone weapons and even dragon bone stuff, the set bonus gives an extra attack to these to make it probably one of the more useful armor sets in the game. So we're going to be getting the armor and all the necessary weapons and materials and making a bum rush for the castle and sanctum. So it's going to be Ganon versus Ganons. And I'm very excited and it's going to be a lot of fun, honestly. Yeah, so uh, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're having uh, a good day and I'm excited to kick this off because yeah, it's going to be a one day challenge run and well, from here, we'll just uh, have to do the plateau, get everything we need, take it. rush to the sanctum, and yeah. You after your long Since there's two weapon sets, or rather two armor sets in the game that relate to bone and dragon bone weapons, uh, I thought it'd be fun to do this one first, and then the radiant stuff later. So I'm very excited. No divine beasts, just the rush. <laughs> Sheikah Slate. Yes. There's not much of a run description in the objective panel, but uh, you can find some stuff there. It's basically just Phantom Ganon armor, and then, uh, well, what's it called? <laughs> Anything that is powered by it, so like bone and dragon bone stuff. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. Because, that well, uh, basically the, the set bonus is to 80% uh, for the bone attack up, and on top of attack buff, which we can have, uh, yeah, it'll be pretty powerful. They're just not super durable, um, and we'll still have to plan accordingly because it's all four Blights and Ganon and Sanctum. So yeah, anything can happen. And the preparing will be fun because we, uh, well, we're going to use the best routes to get some very good Dragon Ball weapons fast. So it's cool how you can just stock up right off of the plateau. And this run you can do it with. Food and defense buffs? I'm getting attack buffs. I, I need that damage output. It's too fun. Yeah. But defense buffs probably will be helpful for the longevity of my life, but yeah, I prefer the glass cannon route. Only spooky weapons. Bone spooky. Sansa's arm. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys are doing well today. So this will be like our first of like two spooky-esque Halloween runs. We're recording them this month so we can get them up next month, obviously. <laughs> but September started, it's spooky season. We're doing it. A lot near Satori, yep, we're going there. Um, so all the Phantom Ganon starts pretty much in the jungle, and we can get that stuff there along with a few other side things, but then Satori Mountain's gonna have a lot of our, uh, like, weapons that we wanna get. But the jungle's also good for just getting, you know, bananas for attack boost and durians for health, because against the master mode blights and bosses, uh, we won't have a lot of armor points against them. And yeah, spike stuff too, but uh, the goal is dragon bone, because we're going to need it for durability's sake. If we grab just all spike stuff, we won't have enough durability to hit through. I'm going to grab some beetles. I'm not sure if I'll need them, because we'll have the bananas, but they're here. And they're like the only attack boosters on the plateau. So, might as well nab them. I don't... What? The squirrel scared him off. You idiot. <laughs> oh, there's another. See, we're in the clear. It's perfectly okay. <laughs> Not that they're a priority. Oh, Blizzard too. <laughs> Yay. Baby Lizalfos. <laughs> this is going to be a bone-chilling experience. <laughs> Hopefully not too freaky to the point where we end up in death loops. Because that would suck. But you never know. And yeah, we got we have to get our Ganon horse. For sure. We've been holding off and getting that one for a challenge run. So like <laughs> this out of all the runs feels the most appropriate to have Ganon horse for. Oh hi Choo Choo. <laughs> Can you sneak attack Ganon? I wish. Uh no, you can't sneak shark any bosses. It's just basic enemies. And yeah, technically this is stealth buff, but we're not really going to be utilizing it. 
very much during the run, honestly. It gives you stealth up and also the disguise buff, but basically we're just mainly going to be using that bone attack up buff. Because beyond this preparing phase, which we could probably use some of that for, uh, the actual battle, it's uh, all weapons and a big clash. The bone puns begin. <laughs> okay. Um, well, like always, we got to steal arrows from the field. Because free arrows. And yeah, pretty much everything we'll get is uh, dragon bone stuff. But for bows specifically, we'll have to get spiked. Because dragon bone stuff won't be spawned in for bows yet. There's like one on Evan's hide. But yeah, not really worth that whole spiel. <laughs> If I'm being quite honest. Whoop. I still don't want to die here or anything. You know how much that would suck? Just... It would suck too much. Eight arrows. Okay. Isn't there a dragon bone bow on Makara Island? Well, things scale into that, but like... We're not going to be able to really get many scaling points. So, just whatever's in the base world. Uh, and, like, yeah, pretty much all the bows, uh, they're either normal or spiked, but they eventually scale into Dragon Bone, some of them. But since we'll be at, like, no scaling, uh, we can only get stuff that's natively there. So, we can get all Dragon Bone weapons, because a lot of Satori monsters and around that area spawn with those. Same with the shields, but. For the bows, we're going to have to just get spiked. But spiked are literally everywhere, so it's not that hard. For everyone asking if there's going to be a YouTube video, there are always YouTube videos, so <laughs> that's the answer. The best. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, on the Eventide Hinox necklace, yes. The, that is the only dragon bone bow in the map from the start of the game. Having to go all the way to Evan's hide and getting that bow and stuff, so not really worth it, because then you can't easily take stuff off the island. Unless you just don't get that bow during the challenge, I'm pretty sure, and then take it at the end. Either way, yeah, uh, not worth it. And we only have so many weapon slots. I'm not planning on Koroks in this run, because just sort of the point is just seeing how fast we can kind of rank up our character just with this stuff and uh, take on the plates. Can you read the stream info on mobile? So, uh, the objective panel should be in the about section. Like, about information. Uh, you should see the panels. If you're on PC, it's just the description below. <laughs> no, this isn't going to be a video. We're just suffering for fun. See? That's the right spirit. <laughs> One day suffering never to be thought of again. Hmm. I don't want to remember. I want to skip. How much durability do Dragon Bone weapons have compared to Royal Guard? I I want to say a lot of them are on like the 20 mark. It really depends on the weapon. Um, I'm going to look it up once more just to be sure. We'll do it during like a cutscene or something. Or during loading screens. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're not dying right away. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any other time, I'll let it play out, but not in the Plateau Tower, because I was too busy. This gives us time to do important stuff, though. Breath of the Wild, all weapon uh, durability values. There's, like, a nice spreadsheet. Um, never mind. It does not click the nice spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. <laughs> we'll do this as we're mashing through the King dialogue. So yeah, Plateau's going to be the same. Um, nothing too fancy. But still speeding through it. There we go. Hi, King. Never mind, I lost the spreadsheet. There's like a really... Is it a GameFAQ one? <laughs> well, I really wish I had the link to it. Wait, what video did I put it in? I thought I had it bookmarked. <laughs> I searched it on the internet and all I see is my stats videos popping up. That's, that's great. Um, 
Not helpful in any way. Heard a voice. Yeah, they're around 20 each, so let's just say that. So really not a lot, but uh, when they're boosted with bone attack up and attack up, we'll get a lot of value out of it. Like, I'm pretty much sure that uh, a Dragon Bone Moblin Club can probably output like 2,000 damage if paired with the right buffs. So it's very good. <laughs> Do you ever get durability anxiety? Not when I play modded because I have the durability meter, uh, or the count stat at least. Don't die at Mount Hylia this time, no. No deaths in the plateau. Like watching my weekly streams. Second one looks so much fun. Thank you. Yeah, second one is very fun. So I like doing that every week. And vanilla challenge runs too. Hidden XP system video. That's where I put the support sheet. I don't know why I can't find it in my favorites. Like that doesn't make sense. <laughs> and I just tried searching it on Google and then for some reason I couldn't find that. I was like, what? Mm. Well, I'll try doing more record time. I feel like, I mean, it's never taken us like, well, it has taken us like an hour for the plateau before, but that was in like runs that are like more focused around it. This one, I want to speed through it. There's just a lot of dialogue, walking, doing your basic stuff. Hopefully not dying though. <laughs> That's a challenge. Can we do a deathless? Which we have usually do a deathless. Uh, two times we died though, and they were both amiibo runs. At least from what I remember. <laughs> okay. Let's look up the exact stats on all these dragon bone weapons, just so I can share them. Um, Oh. <laughs> Hi, old me voice. Uh, and yeah, no divine beasts. <laughs> Watch my own videos as the guide found footage. I'm only just getting the link from the description. <laughs> oh, I watched a second of my video. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely been times where I rewatch the stats videos just because it's been so many years. Because it's like, I would say I remember most of it, but like some of those subtle things I explain in the video, it's like, oh yeah, right, like a refresher. Because the stats video is like, the oldest ones are now like two and a half years old. Like, it's kind of crazy. An armor set that just turned you into a skeleton, like an Odyssey. <laughs> yes, yeah, just a transformation. Transformation mask. Zelda did it before. We can do it again. Stats videos are timeless. Thank you. I'm actually still working on one right now. Um, it's been a while since the last big one, but this is actually a... Uh, well, it's a pretty big one. It's actually got my, my longest stats video, too, after all these. But I'm very excited for it. Yeah, sure. It really wants to take him out with that. You still can. Just mash him in. Mash him in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Almost landed on my head. Or I'll just push him. Yeah. I know I can one-shot him, just not. Just please one-shot. <laughs> please. <laughs> that was a little pathetic. Wait. I want to see if we can make it across with the crate. We can. We don't even need the big plank or a shield. Not gonna lie, I've never tried that before. But I guess it's okay if you just want to keep the same thing. Magnesist. Multi-bonk. The rapid. Sort of six ages now. I just want to stick with uh, just purely the bone stuff because it's all affected by the set. So I want to do stuff that's ready within that theme. And plus, Sword of Six Ages is technically the, the Twilight Prince's sword. Not that we need to be technical, but, uh, and very low drop chance. And either way, we can't even get it because, uh, 
it requires at least one Divine Beast completion, which we're not doing. So, with the one that we're doing, we can't get it. Huge fan of my content. So excited to catch you live on Twitch for the first time. Recently finished my 100% run. Trying to figure out the game so you can continue your Master Mode run. I feel that, yeah, if you just watch all that. That's so cool. But, uh, yeah, hope you have fun in your adventures, too. In Boko Amiibos, it's not needed because we're going to literally find too many weapons that we can't even hold. So. Yeah, literally just by going to Satori Mountain, there's more weapons there than we can hold. So it's like doing an Amiibo on top of that is only a small chance for something we'll probably wind up dropping. So. Only way we're going to be able to get the bow, though. You know, that's true. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah, that's the only other way we can get a Dragon Bone bow. It's going to be fun. I never really took advantage of the Dragon Bone buffs enough in this game. Um, just for kind of like little situational things, but that's why I really want to do a playthrough about it. Okay. And we'll recap more of what we're doing exactly and where we're going uh, sooner when we're about to get off the plateau. Because that's when uh, we'll have to get stuff very fast. So we're going to get our Ganon horse. We're going to get the armor. Some good food and attack boosting stuff. The weapons. And then just the charge. So it'll be pretty fast. Like I feel like the plateau is like the first like <laughs> third of this run. But it's also just a time just to talk about anything. And uh... <laughs> I guess just chill. Regardless of what I'm doing here, it's fun to just be streaming. Especially on a weekend and earlier. Because, yeah, it's just nice. Uh oh. Yeah. Just taking those few. Yeah, this run will be a one day. Uh, for a Ganon Rush, that will not take three days. So... The next one we do, which is going to follow uh, the Skeleton Radiant stuff, will be more of a longer normal challenge run. But for this one, I just want to do like the OP version, like getting as powerful as fast as we can, then rushing the Sanctum, and yeah. That's where we're at. Hey, fish. Got him. <laughs> oh, didn't slide in. It's a very friction-heavy chest. Yeah. Ooh. Beach. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, the description of the runs in the objective panel. So below or in the about section. I'm not even sure. Do other streamers on Twitch do stuff like that as much? Like, as I do? Like, I don't really follow many other streamers on Twitch. So, like, I don't know what everyone else does. But, I mean, it makes sense to have... You know, a panel where people can read what's going on in the run. Especially for a challenge run. Because it's like, so people don't have to ask all the time. That's just my, you know, like, thought process, I guess. It's like on my YouTube streams, like, every single time I always have people asking, Wait, what's second wind? Is this official or something? Because it's like, clearly they don't read the description. But that's why description is exist. use the run command yeah it's like i have that too but it literally just points people to the panel because like i can't fit everything that i want in one command so there we go starting your third semester of college on tuesday nice yeah i know school is starting for a lot of people now <laughs> beginning of september yeah we have pretty much right after uh labor day for a lot. Or some people starting now. We're a little bit earlier. We need to use hammer strats this time? Okay, because they definitely work. Uh, <laughs> in the stasis shrine. Convince YouTube chat so nice doesn't know how to read. That would explain it. It's okay.
Uh, yep. And then... Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna risk that. We're just gonna... Let it roll. Okay. Alright. Squares don't go as far. I forget too often. Imagine if I actually blew that up. <laughs> so many. That was a slow way of doing it. My favorite is still using the shield surf hop to get around. That's yeah, okay. I put a lot of good information in the YouTube stream descriptions. You always read it. Thank you. Yeah, just, you know, for context, because, I mean, that's the type of person that, well, I guess just I am, like, when I'm just watching other content. It's like, I like, you know, context with what I do, or just even games that I play. Hence why I like, you know, looking into them, figuring out the stats, whatnot, because it's like, I think context is very important and uh, makes things more fun. Where's the fire? Fire gone. <laughs> the tool tips that I've seen a million times. But also it's like, whenever I see half them, it's like, oh, that's neat. Cause I just feel like I, uh, like I know the thing, but it's like neat as in the fact that I don't remember seeing it. Cause they're always there. So I never read them now sort of thing. <laughs> it just kind of passes over in my brain. Maybe the only person on Earth that reads Discord bios. Oh yeah, I forgot that's a thing. I don't think I have one. Also, why can't I... Please, Link. Please go. It's not that steep. It's not that deep. <laughs> Run! <laughs> why can I not do that? I can do that. But that... Oh, never mind. No, it's not a problem. I guess just on that side. <laughs> Video game tips be like, breathe to breathe. Ah, thank you. You know, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been able to understand how to apply that real life knowledge, of course. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Not that he's ever really a problem if we are just glancing the edge, but I just want to make sure those odds are in my favor. What happens if you wind bomb without a glider? I mean, I would assume the fall damage is going to be pretty brutal afterwards, but have I ever done it? No. <laughs> I'm not ballsy enough. Also, just not risky enough, and yeah. I don't want to be risky when I don't need to. Your Breath of the Wild soundtrack yours is the bizarre. I still love the main theme too much. Like, just, I mean, the full version of it, how it's used in the memories and opening cutscene and finale. Like, there's too much to love about that. <laughs> What's that pose, Link? <laughs> What's he doing? What shape is he? That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> His eyes, too, are, like, cross, like... Mm -hmm. I forgot, is there anything of value in here? The question, maybe. Yeah, why not? I'll take a shroomy. Okay, let's cook up a... Just for the snow. Yeah, Druic seems really good. Uh, <laughs> the Lullaby, Breath of the Wild, Goron City, Corrupted Dragon, okay. All very good, and I, s I see just, you know, how most of these can be someone's favorite. They always give a different feel, whether it's just really good ambience or just something that fills into space well or charging like boss theme like yeah soundtrack in this game is phenomenal and very slept on too soundtrack doesn't have to be bombastic to be good also wow <laughs> the dual split trees jeez
Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the objective panel uh, on my profile in the about tab. Yeah, it's that about tab for mobile people. But yeah, you have to like click out of the stream. It's, you know, I wish you had a better integration for it because it's like, it's important, but I'm not sure why they don't. Hat and Time OST and Undertale, both really good ones. I love those games too. Hat and Time I played in like 2019, I want to say. Uh, very fun for like a variety platformer. Every chapter is different, uh, and creative soundtrack for sure. And Undertale's great, so not much needs to be said about that. <laughs> My favorite from Hat in Times, it might be the Windmill Peak. Honestly, I I like that song a lot. Undertale, there's too many good ones. Uh, Pretty much all the boss themes, so like Undyne's really good, uh, and Papyrus' theme, and Toriel. Those never miss. Death by Glamour. Death. Oh, the towel theme starts with uh, Pickaxe's Breaking Stone. I like that little sound effect. It's like, ching, 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 ching. Dun, 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 dun. Ba -dum, ba -dum. And the dragon music is very, it's, it's very tranquil and nice. Yeah, but uh, welcome everyone who's still tuning in. Sorry, I'm like uh, just getting over this massive adrenaline hype of just, you know, sort of internally planning what I'm going to do for this stream and the run. And yeah, even though it's just a plateau, it's like uh, start of streams like this just kind of fill me with a lot of energy. And then I'm just like <laughs> taking it throughout the rest. Because, like, you never know how it's truly going to go. You always have to have, like, a loose plan when you challenge run. Because, you know, so you're not just bumbling around. So, like, I have a very good idea of, you know, obviously where the armor is. About the right areas for, like, the bows. And probably need some arrows. The general area of, like, where the bananas are for attack up. And the weapons, of course. But, yeah, the rest of it's just kind of figuring out from there. Like... How to get from point to point, what you're going to come across. So that's why I like challenge running. You know, it's like, you kind of have a loose idea of what you're going to do, but based on those guidelines, it kind of exceeds your expectations. So, like, even for the other theme runs, it's like, oh, I'm doing a Gerudo run. So I'm going to at least map out the location of, like, the weapons and whatnot, um, and, and kind of have a partial strategy, like, just thinking in my head before I play it. But the way I actually play it is, you know, it can only be told through me playing it, and it's very fun. So who here has done some of the challenge runs? Uh, whether it be some of the older ones, even like the amiibo runs, theme runs. Because I think it's cool when people tell me, uh, just, you know, in the comments of a run, that they attempted this one, or they even played a run before I even did. You gotta tell me about it. You know, just their experience, which I find very cool. Okay, so the hammer strat apparently is in this shrine. Okay, so hammer strat. Um, this is what Platinum says is the best way to do it. And I don't know if I see that particularly. Because it doesn't really move. Is there something I'm missing here? <laughs> Don't throw the hammer. <laughs> I get told to do it this way. And I'm missing something. I need to get close to it as Link no stasis. Okay. And then what? Like, touch it. Oh! Well, there we go. That's the hammer strat. I didn't lose it this time. Woo! Now you can be lost. Oh, no. Not me. No! <laughs> Why me? That was Hammer's fate. Oh, hi, Hammer. He had a better life. Misery fell. Okay, let's go.
Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay, you did the Zoro run? Awesome. <laughs> Shika. You love the Shika run. Battle tactics and how they overlap with Yiga is very fascinating. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah, I like Shika, and that's why the Shika run was the first one I did. I like the outfit, their weapons, uh, everything. You did the Zelfos run? Nice. <laughs> that was fun. It took me so long to do. But I feel like it was worth it. Okay, three shrines done, one more. 34 minutes into the stream. Usually we're doing important stuff by like that 45 minute mark. So, we're very close. I'm excited. <laughs> I need to keep uh, my positive battle energy up for the boss that's coming. Oh, hi skeletons. Don't stab me. <laughs> But I will bomb you. Well, I mean... Nice thing about these guys is, uh... I don't mind taking their, uh, parts. And they didn't have bone arms. I'm pretty sure they only drop bone arms if, uh... They don't... Oh, wait a second. Why are there bone arms in here? What happened? Okay, we can use these until we get, uh, actual good stuff. Shika Run's one of the few you haven't done, but it's one that inspired you to start doing them. Mostly like to do the ones I haven't done yet, so you're not spoiled by all the best strategies. That's true. It's fun to make your own. Even still, there's probably a lot of good strategies that I never even utilized or thought of on some of the runs. <laughs> they flew into the shrine, yeah. Bizarrely so. Alright, speaking of bizarre, uh, <laughs> sorry, quick detour. I finally got this game because it came out yesterday, and uh, as a big JoJo fan, I love it. So, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like a remake of like a fighting game from like 10 years ago. But I was never into the series 10 years ago. I just got into it last year. So, <laughs> been having a blast with it. Um, <laughs> yes, I occasionally play other games besides Zelda. Very surprisingly. And then, yeah, I was playing the, the Splatoon 3 Test Fire 2. What was that last weekend? Uh, so that was cool. I only played a few rounds though, but I'm excited for the full release. <laughs> the arms can teleport? They must be Sans's arms. Guess so. <laughs> yes. Nah, but just using some light bone stuff, it's really just until we get dragon bone. <laughs> and that's assuming we even need this stuff. Splatfuss was fun, but uh, if you're on Team Scissors, you didn't have a good time, aka me. Because just uh, all the sweaty people were on the other teams, and you know, I think all the five year olds picked Team Scissors, and those were my teammates. So I couldn't really get through more than like five or six games. You like how to name this horse either Sands or Papyrus? Oh, yeah. You know it. Oh, wait. Yeah. We have time, we have six minutes. We're in no rush. Hello, King. I know he can get the doublet here, but... Amber, okay. We'll need some gems. I'll have to buy a few things. There's always a star fragment off the plateau. I'm just like, I can't get you. I mean, unless we beat everything in the next uh, three minutes, including the shrine and paraglider. Robbing the King's tomb be like, I mean, we are Ganon, after all. If it's evil, we have to do it. But, I mean, our evil is only going to be killing a greater evil. And, like, five of them. Because it really is Ganon versus Ganon's. Oh, hi, Snowballs. I might have to cook up some of these stamina shrooms because I do want to get that Ganon horse and it's easier with a bit more stamina. 
Mm. Arm. <laughs> Makes funny noises. Bone crack. It's snowball just materials from the side of the cliff. Yeah, that's how they work in the game. Like, it's literally just uh, an area that you step into and then all the snowballs spawn in. And it's a very close range, and they don't really try to hide it too well in this game. It goes with a lot of the falling boulders. Like, if you rewatch any of the scenes with them, like, you can pretty much always see them spawn in. The rules are in the panel. It's. It's just Phantom Ganon armor and bone stuff. And we're just going straight to the Sanctum. So, no Divine Beasts, just one day, bum rush, take down Blights and Ganon, and yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do the um, Bacoblin Amiibo. So as we explained earlier, yeah, we can get a lot of dragon bone weapons, um, mainly in Satori Mountain in the surrounding area, along with the shields. But the bow, there is really no spawning dragon bow, like bow in the world, because pretty much all the spike ones scale into that. The only naturally spawning dragon bone bow there is is on Satori, not Satori, uh, Eventide Island, which is too far to go to and too much work just for one bow. But the only other way is by. It's a small chance by scanning in the Bacoblin Amiibo, so we're going to do that. And by small, I mean very small. Whoop! Oh, that was actually kind of close. Oh, well, good thing we made that. There we go. Not too bad. 40 minutes into the stream, fourth shrine. I'll just rest of the time to, uh, you know... Go around uh, to the Temple of Time. <laughs> we can cook up those uh, stamina mushrooms too. And then, yeah, we'll be all starting. <sighs> so, yeah, also, um, because there's two sets in the game that give this bonus, it's the Phantom Ganon and the Radiant. So there'll be two challenge rooms for each. This one will be our one day just straight to the castle. Um, use, using OP stuff. And the next one, which we'll do later this month, uh, that'll be the Radiant. And it'll be a full Divine Beast thing. And we'll have some special rules with that. So that'll be like a normal three-day run. So this is just kind of leading up into it. The spooky runs. Yeah, it's not really worth saves going. I... Do you understand? I think the Sheik Slate's supposed to be the Switch. It was supposed to be the Wii U gamepad, but uh, then it's no longer a Wii U exclusive, so we dropped that whole thing. Okay. Uh, can we make it from here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we actually did make it to the second. Very cool. Opal. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't see anything too good. Um, a present for them? Sure. Just because we're nice. Actually, I'll get the meat. <laughs> He's kicked it into his friend. <laughs> okay. Perfect meat opportunity. And uh, meet and greet and get out. Let's go. <laughs> Is there a cooking pot leading into the... Uh, Temple of Time? I don't think so, but there's the one in the woods where we can get some arrows too, so I'm gonna do that. Question for everyone. My first... Well, yeah, on the first run of Breath of the Wild, did we get stamina or hearts first? I think for me, I... That's a good question. I, I wish I, uh... Had a way of figuring that out. I feel like I might have gotten hearts first, though. Damn, I really don't remember. Also, I don't think you can get the Korok yet, can you? Or is that post-paraglider? 
Yeah, it's pulse paraglider. But there's a Korok in here. Fun fact, the Wii U is the only mainline Nintendo console not to get at least one exclusive Zelda. That's true. <laughs> Wild to think about, too. We're going to need the seeds. I'm not doing seeds in this run. Because, honestly, we don't need it. I'm going strictly with normal inventory, picking up OP stuff. Oh, two beetles. Oh, <laughs> he was trying to run. Oh, there we go. We got more beetles. Just because just we can which is okay. Yeah, so I'll just quickly go in there, cook up the stuff we need. And then, yeah, we'll visit the the fountain. We'll, we'll get the the stamina upgrade for the sole sake of wanting to uh, catch that big horse, probably. Plus, I just like it for running around. There we go. I see you. Cooking pot. I really wish we had something to light the pot with. Arrows. Oh. Yep. Not, not, not you. <laughs> Beetle will love them. He will. Sadly, not for him. Okay. Yeah, those and, uh, of course, we're lacking the flint. I'm pretty sure it's lit if you do this before the shrines. But the alternative is uh, getting flint, which actually isn't too far. Because they thought of this purposely. Wait, will I be able to strike it with a bone? Yeah, I don't think we can light flint, though, with this weapon. Can we? I guess we'll see. It's not metal, but no, it's, it's not going to count as that. What if we blow it up? Will it work? I just want a cooking pot. So we can cook some eggs. That's a nut. Okay, there's the eggs. Screw it. I'm trying it even though I'm like certain it doesn't work. Shoot with an arrow. I don't have a bow. We're only using bone stuff, so... Yeah. Okay. Light it. Yeah, it's not metallic. Uh, do bombs work? Bye-bye, Flint. Okay. You know what? Just for that. Bye-bye, campfire. Never mind. Okay, we'll find another one. I'm not pressed. Not that we needed any of that anyways. There was a metal bracelet. Yeah. Oh. That would have sucked. <laughs> Magnus is a chest into that. Will that work? Maybe, but we'll probably find a campfire sooner. Yeah, there is one. Old man's. There's also, I think, the Boko camp. That involves killing him. <laughs> Okay. All right, well, we're almost there. Mm. Nah. <laughs> Some chase me into here, but it's fine. By pot. I love stepping on them. Alright, stamina it is. Because we need to get that big horse. Okay, finally. We can kick this run off very soon. Broken pot. <laughs> Cool. 
All these challenge runs made me really good at dodging Pocos. Yeah, it's a necessary skill. But, yeah, it keeps us alive through stupid stuff. <laughs> Whoop. Oh. You'll never get enough of that arm wiggling on my back. <laughs> Looks like it's scratching my butt at all times. Hi, Boko. Bye, Boko. Go, 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 go. The ultimate back scratcher, yes. The best of the best. Mm. There we go. Okay, well, a little cutscene break. I'm just going to use the restroom really quick. Uh, get refreshed right before we start. So uh, it'll be a piggy stream. We'll let it play out a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, we can kick it off. Or probably the plan is we're going to get that giant horse, then kind of ride that into Farron. And then from there, we can get all of our armor right away, the durians, the bananas for attack up. Um, and then after that, just uh, probably Satori Mountain stock up. And there's some, like, little loose stops here and there. But, yeah, we can go about the whole routes, and before you know it, we'll be at the castle. So I'm excited, and uh, piggy stream. The great calamity was merciless. Also, I did not know that King was the old man. Wow, A interesting. Uh, spoiler, sorry, but uh, be right back. It was then that my life was taken away from me, and since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skill- They don't want to stay up. <laughs> Hi. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors- Returning. <laughs> okay. We selected I forgot this cutscene's pretty long, actually. I think it's like, a f like between all this and then the after cutscene, it's like five minutes. At the end of this part, we'll skip to the end, though. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, for those of you who've been watching from the beginning, uh, well, you know what's up, but for those of you just tuning in, uh, yeah, we're basically just going to start the rush around and uh, get the horse, go to the jungle, get what we need, all the weapons. Then eventually the Sanctum, so I'm very excited to do a whole Ganon rush. Ganon against Ganon. So I feel like it's going to be a, a pretty fun fitting battle. Okay. You didn't think you watched this cutscene on your first playthrough? You skipped that. Aw, I love this cutscene. 
See, the thing I like about Breath of the Wild is that there's not like an overabundance of like just story thrown at your face or just like just pointless cutscenes or dialogue. Like, if there is going to be something there, um, you know, like a big cutscene like this, it's there for a reason and it's presented at a time where it just really, uh, you know, it, it feels cool because you were just kind of already invested in the mystery and then it throws a cool cutscene at you. It doesn't just start the game with a bunch of cutscenes that are like, whatever, skip, want to play the game. You already ha experienced the mystery, and it's like, now you want to know more. So when you see a cutscene like this, it's like, really cool. And that's why I appreciate this game's story. Uh, just as like a side note, so I appreciate this big chunk of lore after exploring this, uh, you know, deserted, unknown plateau. And then, you know, the rest, kind of learn more through Impa, and then through the champion memories, and the ones with Zelda. So I really appreciate the storytelling in this game. And that's on top of just like all the like, loose diaries and world building storytelling things. So yeah, sorry, I like it. <laughs> Guardians are scary in the cutscene, just walking across the buildings like, geez. <laughs> Cutscenes are a little treat for completing the main storyline. Yeah, I like that. Okay, the paraglider. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, button mash. Get through. Yes. Okay, well, the plateau's now done. So, in order to get everything else that we need, we're gonna have to get ourselves a good steed. And luckily, there is a nice uh, Ganon horse nearby. So, we will have to get him. <laughs> we could teleport. We might as well teleport there. But also won't matter too much because we have limited stamina for paragliding. Oh well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to just cook up this stamina thing and then book it. Which would be awesome if any of the fires were lit. Oh yeah, you can get the warm dublet here. Um... And hey, Mike C. Duke, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Uh. <laughs> Maybe we're just coming at a bad time? Wait, is there fire down there? Someone give me fire. <laughs> Make my life easier. Uh. These guys must have fire, right? Oh, you do? Wait, yes, okay. Never mind, I don't have a way to bring it. Um, so let's just ignore it. You know what? It's, it's totally fine. <laughs> hey, Gentle Links, thank you so much for the tier one sub. <laughs> Four months, awesome. Wait, right, isn't it like that's, that sub discount month too? I, got no I just got a notification about that, so cool. <laughs> Head to the stable? Nah. Horsey first. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> I just love the little walk he does across. Don't some Bokos drop fire arrows? I'm not sure if they do here, though. Ha. No match. No skill. Well, okay. Hmm. <laughs> the one red Boko in Master Mode. I'm pretty sure it's the only one at least. Yeah, he's just chilling there. He got abandoned by all his uh, blue cousins. Yeah. Blue only. Any tips to be a parry god? I guess, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to give the most generic advice and just say practice. Um, but you really just have to get a feel for the attacks of what you're doing. Um, if you go into a save where you're just very overpowered already, um, so like you have a bunch of shields and a bunch of armor, so you're not just gonna die after every parry, just practice against like a guardian or something and uh, just kind of go for it. Because if you're not in a life or death situation, you tend to just practice better and you don't have a lot of those like that parry anxiety, as I would say. So if you've practiced in those situations uh, where you're pretty much fine even if you get hit or not, um, it definitely helps train the timing more. So when you do it, you're just overall better. 
and then obviously just getting a feel for all sorts of attacks. You learn through success and failure, so it's not just a one-way street. Aha, Ganon. I see you. <laughs> There's gonna be a hard catch with only uh, this much stamina. Should be a parry god, just watch Croton streams. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. I guess you can learn the timing by watching. Still, there's a lot of doing involved. Save at Hyrule Castle, uh, because I overwrote the, uh, Amiibo run. Because I always overwrite the last run. I have done it with this much before, but, like, once after many failures. So not easily, by any means. Yeah, I think we need 30 taps of the Soothe button within the whole drain time. Hi, how am I? I'm doing good. Uh, yeah, I, I had a pretty chill day yesterday. I was working pretty late, though. Um, so it was nice to be refreshed and be able to do this. I like this a lot. Is anyone doing anything fun for uh, Labor Day this weekend? Because <laughs> that's three-day weekend for a lot of people, which is nice. Whoop. Okay, uh, where are you? There's too many leaves in the way. Where'd the horse go? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is it that one? No. Is he. No. Gone? Is he below me? Where'd you go, horsey? Doing something super fun called catch up on work. Yes. Very exciting. Uh, Save and reload. We'll do it on the tree, though. If we can't find him, then sure. Okay, uh... Come on, where are you? Besides vanished, where did he go? Um, wait. Aha! Never mind, that's a shadow. Oh, you're behind that? What? <laughs> of course. Hey, old, uh, only Adrian, thank you for the tier one. <laughs> Research Prime Pog. Yes. Oh, I see you. Wait. So I don't think this is going to work the way I want it to. Okay, please work. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we definitely have to fly on up. Aha. Uh -huh. And wait. Behind me. Yes. No. Oh, that health. Oh, he's punishing. I like him. Fits the Ganon nature. Uh, we'll eat up mushroom. Two mushroom. Do we have enough stamina? Positively. Okay. You know, we're just going to chase him into a wall. Unless this does work. Oh. Actually, <laughs> surprised we didn't get kicked there. Wait, he's being chased into a wall. It's our time to shine. Keep going. Aha. If you get stuck, it's just good for me. Yep, there we go. Get stuck more. And mount him. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> we need 30 presses. It's not going to be easy. We have to get our controller in the right grip to do this. This may be the hardest part of the run. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no, bleh. you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be dumb. Here, be dumb. Go into the wall. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that time I wasn't fully prepared. I was a little, uh, 
But we have to press a lot. We're whistle sprinting, so we're just scaring them from afar. Because I can, and because I want. Hey, get back here, horsey. Yep, he sees you regardless. He's not that dumb. Only when he goes into the wall. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, why do you run right past me? He, he knew he could make that. I've done it off the plateau before, just not easily. Because we use stamina, damn it. We have to be in with like fresh stamina, which sucks, but. We only started with uh, like just over one, not that extra fifth. It's impossible to up that extra fifth, but. There's no way he hears me now. We are just too quiet. Ah, oh, what? Good armor first for stealth. I mean, that's not the issue here, though. Issues the stamina. Okay. We just have to hit the button 30 times, and that's it. And don't get behind it. I don't want to get hit by those back legs again. Like, look at those muscles. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? We're ready, right? Go! Nope, I dropped my controller. Damn it. <laughs> it rolled off, rolled off my leg. I need to find a better... Uh... Damn, I've done it before. I think I'm using two fingers, and that's just not causing all the presses to register. So you know what we're gonna do? This. Yeah, if, if I could cook that into a meal, that would have been lovely, but every single fire was out. I'm doing it like this because it's possible. Oh, we were... We had to have been one away. We had to have been one away. <gasps> Reverse recovered, yes. Oh my god, the whistle sprint last time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is he why is he being smart now? We can do it in one go, I promise. Stupid horse. Okay. I just have to stop being bad for a second. Um, you know, I'm gonna try it with my Joy-Con because the Joy-Cons have a clickier button. So ideally, we can probably... Oh yeah, we can mash this way faster. Um, one second. There we go. For some reason it wasn't paired, but now it is, so we're fine. Let's do this. <laughs> There we go. Oh, playing Zelda with Joy-Cons. It's been... It's been a very long time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we did it! Oh my god, that worked! Yes! One to fifth wheels. Just 30 presses all within that time. That was amazing. Okay. <laughs> yes! Who <laughs> Joy-Cons. Yeah, literally, the button's just so clicky. Like, you can, you can do that for hours, like... <gasps> wow. See, I knew I could do it. I'm like, what was my secret last time? It's been... 
I think the last time I did it was that uh, when I made the horse stats video and was demonstrating it. Okay, well now just don't get hit off this thing because uh, I would like to keep my life. <laughs> Keep going. Oh yeah, we got the Lionels to pass through. Uh, you're only second to a Ganon. Yeah, see? Oh, I mean, unless you pull out your bow. Uh, I mean, that's the only problem if you use it. If you don't, that's okay. I was probably using the Joy-Cons last time I got them. It's just been so long I didn't remember. Okay, yes, this is a Ganondorf. Oh, yeah, big boy. <laughs> well, we'll get him fitted up at the stable, and... You know, with that, we're going to be very close to the area where we're going to get the armor, which is the jungle. Crusher. <laughs> Seeing the low-tier line of weapons. How cute. <laughs> Just see them up a bit. Whoop, nice. Yeah, this train means nothing. Oh. It's okay, you tried. Is it worth buying a 64 and offering a time for 250? I mean, the only thing about an older console is you have no guarantee of a warranty. So if you buy it and it breaks down two days later, like, you're shot out of it. I recommend just playing on Switch or uh, PC. But, I mean, obviously do what you want, and if you know how to repair, then yes. Oh, no. Not a Boko field. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, they're actually pretty fast. Oh, no. No, 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 no. G get away. Get away. Stop. Okay. Oh, no. No, come on, please. I don't have time for this. Oh, and we're riding right into an enemy camp. Ugh. Now is not the time for this. We are not equipped. <laughs> but it seems like they're gone. That's good. Ah. Hey, Philotech, thank you for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, we should be fine. Oh, so big. Hey. It is huge, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Go take a look at it. Very huge. Yeah, I don't want to have the same situation. The Boko Gang. Oh. And we get a rupee just for, uh, you know, showing it. The Ganon research does pay well. And we can use that to register him. Back archery. Huh. Oh, the register? Yes. I wish I could still view a shop, though. Wait, can we? Ah, we can't yet. He does have a good shop where he sells a bunch of arrows, though. But we can't view it unless we're on a mounted horse. Sad. <laughs> GameCube Ocarina of Time is the best. I'm pretty sure that's the ROM that uh, the PC port uses. PC port's called uh, Ship of Harkonnen. Yes. It's very nice. That's what we played on uh, for our Twitch series a couple months back. That was a lot of fun. Make sure to upload that one to YouTube, too, because uh, it was a blast. There it goes. Keep doing that. This is going to look so amazing with the, the Phantom Ganon set. Yeah, I'm, I'm just too excited. And the weapons? Yeah. <laughs> All the way this way. Yeah, we don't need the Horse God stuff. And we can't use custom armor on this guy, either. Name the horse Malice. But they'll be rooting for Team Calamity. We're Team Phantom. And Calamity guys have, well, all the blights and whatnot. 
But Phantom Ganon's based off a much different version. So. <laughs> looking peppy. So due to being based off Ganondorf himself, 20 rupees, only one proper name. Ganon, door, Ganon doors. Oh wait, we're character limited. <laughs> Instead of Ganondorf, it's Ganon doors. But, you know what? Screw the E, we're fine. <laughs> oh. Ganondorf. Yes. Uh. Ganondorf being written by this fat. Mm. Ganondorf being written by his phantom. Blech. Why can't I talk? <laughs> there we go. It's Ganondorf being written by his phantom. There we go. See, I can talk. Well, eventual phantom, I should say. Um, that's good for now. Um, do we need a war point? Nah. And with this, we're actually very close to, uh, well, the phantom stuff. I'm gonna go, uh, oop. <laughs> Jump off to be right back on. Let's go really quick, actually. Uh, I don't actually need that, I don't think. Three, probably? Looks like a type of Ganondorf. Precisely. Perfection. Hmm. That's fine for now. Wait. Just a silly little thing. Omelette. Yeah. <laughs> but normal hearts won't do us very good uh, against powerful master mode blights. We'll do find better food for that later. Wow. Look what I've got. Look what I've got, my bad. Uh, sell two embers. And then opal. 60 for each set. 200 rupees. Wait. You know, just to make sure we're prepared enough for the fight. Just buy some arrows at least. Do we need money for anything else? I don't think so. 120 is not too bad. Okay. There we go. 45 arrows now. Let's go. We'll eat a fish skewer. Why not? Okay. All topped off. Yeah. Nice thing about this stable is... uh. It's literally right next to the jungle. We're going to be getting, like, pretty much everything we need. At least, the armor itself. Yeah. Okay, bye, Bokos. <laughs> it's not very far at all. Uh, Phantom armor's just right this way and to the right. I am very excited. <laughs> Is it possible to carry enough durability? It is, surprisingly. Well, without bows, maybe not. But with bows, we'll have just the edge. Because the thing is, there's two... Well, rather should say there's a few main types of tiers. Oh. Definitely be taking hardy stuff. Can't pass on it. But if yeah, for tiers, there's uh, well, obviously normal, spiked, and dragon bone. Oh. As I was jumping off my horse, I saw you had a good weapon. That's what I was trying to take, man. <laughs> what 
Why? Death one. Yay. So exciting. <laughs> Why then of all times? Yeah, these guys have a uh, weaker, much weaker tiers of the weapons I want. Slain by tree. <laughs> it did look like that. Death to tree. Jeez. The first of perhaps many. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. Well, that means I didn't, I didn't get the hardy radish then. So let's re get that. Got a hardy radish just to die. Okay, yep. Of course. Mother Nature does exist. Punishment. Bruce Serper King. Dark Armor? Hmm. Yeah. Fourth Wall Breaking. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Pass the Sea of Archers. Damn, okay. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of trouble until we get there. Here we are at the jungle, which all three pieces of the armor exist. <laughs> Dark armor, that's the one. You know, it's very fitting riding through this jungle as an evil being like Ganon. I missed cast, sorry. <laughs> Challenge run mode. And there's a couple hints on where to find these. Uh, not that, you know, we really need them, but basically what the quest location would say from the dark armor. Um, the spirit's armor is hidden within Farren Sea of Trees. Find those pieces at the highest of three waterfalls nor north of Lake Floria, at the bridge between the small waterfalls over Floria River, and at the broken stone bird of Ibarra e Forest. Yeah, sorry, uh, but... Yeah, we know where those are. Okay. So, the evil spirit's armor is hidden within Farren's Sea of Trees. Well, at least nearby. It's our first one. Oh! Just right over here. Have to make sure we're not seen because that's what we need. I don't think we're seen. Just in the blind spot. Get over here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes, barely. And that is? Yes. <laughs> the main piece, Phantom Ganon armor. It has the big cape in back, and... Well, let's take that. And just right away. Boom, wow. We're already becoming a menacing overlord of the jungle. <laughs> just the cape flowing is majestic. Yeah. The majestic uh, cape flowing. Okay, let's go get the other two. They're not too far off. And in the jungle, there's a lot of other important stuff to take. Oh! <laughs> Multi-shot bombs! Can my horsey not? Well, you have to try it. What? You're right across the bridge! Ah, <gasps> uh, it's because we're not the full ruler yet. <laughs> and Link's abs grew ten times that day. Apparently. Okay, you're right there, and he's right there. So we have to make a compromise. Horsey, you have to make it across. I'm gonna die here. It's gonna be all your fault. Okay, fine. Well, <laughs> get slain, minion. Bye bye. Ooh, waterlogged. Link's new workout routine is insane. Oh, yeah. I wonder what's in all the chests. Or wait. I see a fishy. Can't skip on that opportunity. Grab his bomb arrows? Yucky. I'll drop it. Did he drop bomb arrows? I mean, he must have. I know sometimes he don't. You know where his loot went? <laughs> oh, 
Uh, did it go really downstream? Nah, we would have seen it by now. Oh, wait a second. Downstream. Whole school? Yeah. Just basic, though. I'm more so only interested in Hardy's. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea where the loot went. Unless it just despawned or clipped. <laughs> really beats me. But yeah, bomb arrows are pretty nice. When you have them. Okay, now are you ready to listen to me? <laughs> I suppose so. Drop the yucky bow. Yeah. It probably is 80%. I wonder what's in the chest. <laughs> just that one. Oh, hi, chest. Wait, you just fell. <laughs> oh, don't be that scared. It's fine. That's so cool, but, uh, yucky. Right, that was from the platform. I have a feeling one of these might drop arrows. That's why. All well, these wooden chests have a chance of getting arrows, I think. Or usually are, rather. Ooh, fire arrows, okay. <laughs> Not good against bosses, but, uh, Arrows are arrows, especially if they're free, they're good. Ooh. Yeah, and money to buy more arrows. Oh, bow, uh, dragon bone. Or, dragon bone's the highest tier, but spike boko bow, rather. Sorry. Because <laughs> we're not really going to be able to find dragon bone. We'll do that amiibo at the end, before the battle. <laughs> Okay. Well, since there's a lot to get here, uh, first things first, we can nab that tower. Then just get a feel for the region. Yeah, only Boko bows, but the higher tier. Um, best way up is probably across here. Ah, so cool. You have to cross a lot of water in the jungle, which is why I like it. There's that, like, jungle mist and uh, the rays of sunlight sometimes. Ooh. It's very cool. And also, good loot. Oh, a big one, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Take a stamina. Not used, too used to this area, honestly. <laughs> Don't really go here a lot. It's only my second time doing straight to Ganon. I, hmm, we did it during the drill shaft run. We did it partially in my co-op one with Kush, but that was like two beasts done. So I feel like it might be, yeah. Stop. Okay. Cancelled. Okay, I'm gonna swap out my controller. Um. Okay, we're two now, so I gotta swap it to one. Paper Bobby, yeah. I have Boomerang Foo, I love Boomerang Foo. I got it a while ago, because it's on sale. Maybe like a year or two already, I don't know. Okay, you take it all. Bananas? We're gonna need this for uh, the attack buff, for sure. Because although with the full set we'll be getting a bone attack up, we can still stack that with a normal attack buff, which we'll need to for the most effect. So that's how you really make this uh, powerful. Uh, oh? Wait, what's this? I have definitely never been here before. Okay, so I was right. Like, this whole area just felt unfamiliar to me. Yeah. And that's a treasure rock to rock. Okay, wow, yeah. I was like, I didn't really recognize, like, the tree going up. Like, because this whole area, there's, like, no Koroks or anything here. Yeah, so I definitely did not see these couple of things before. That's actually really cool. Like, as soon as I was climbing that tree, I'm just like, 
I don't quite remember that. There wasn't a Korok around here. Because it's like, yeah, that's the point of interest. The tower, then above it's a Durian area. So I had no real reason to go here ever. Just a small stretch, but still. <laughs> oh, hi. My treasure. Yes. It'd be a good minion. Yeah, so cool. This baby cave. Baby balloons. How long is the stream going to be? Until we finish, uh, it's about an hour and a half now. I don't see it going longer than like four. That's a definite maximum though. <laughs> you just hopped on Twitch and you haven't seen me stream, but you love my YouTube videos. Let me ask you just watching. You just watched a few today. Again and again. We love the challenges. Thank you. Um, no, I'm, I really appreciate that you do. Um, they're really fun to make. They're fun to plan out, stream. And yeah, a lot goes into them, but uh, hey, if you like them that much and they have good replay value, that's more than I could ask for, so thank you. I really appreciate it, because like, sometimes it's like, you know, just... I get... well, <laughs> it's just a lot to think about. Sometimes it can be overwhelming just with making stuff that people find enjoyable. Because it's like, obviously, I want to make something that's fun for me, fun for you guys. And it's like, sometimes the pressure, you know, just like, okay. But mostly it's just fun. I feel like that's just the general thing, like, with having eyes on you. It's like, oh boy, well, I don't want to seem, you know, boring or stupid or, like, too over the top or anything. But really, at the end of the day, I do have a good time here. So, uh, thank you guys for just the support and just being able to, you know, be here and have fun. It really means the most, always. Yeah, I, you know, I really started doing this. Uh, it was basically an after high school hobby for me for like the longest time and uh yeah I never expected it to go so far too so <laughs> yeah just an extended thanks that's all <laughs> don't mean to get too sentimental but uh <laughs> thanks only big caves in the game are all in Hebrew there's two ice caves with shrines I love those both uh one secret cave with a crack you see the shrine there yep yeah Hebrew has the most even though there's only a few Okay. Before we get all these durians here, which we'll need for the health. Get this tower. There's four of the beetle spawns. Yeah, those are good. Challenge runs for the future. Um, the amiibo one will eventually edit through. I'm definitely going to wind up be recording this one and the other. Uh, well, the bone radiant one after this. and probably uploading them before amiibo. Because I really want to get those out for October. Uh, to be like spooky ones. And then after that, I'll have to. We're still playing it by ear. Alright, get this tower. Yes. It'll help guide us to where we need to go. Ready an hour and a half. Yes. Always be there to support me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anonymous Gifter is gifting one sub. Thank, thank you, uh, Anonymous. <laughs> Pulling up the Boko arm. Sounds like someone eating an apple. <laughs> Weird bite noise, aka bone crack. And yeah, we did that uh, old other amiibo run. See, that was originally, because uh, it's like, I don't exactly know what the milestones, but eventually will be like a, a 250k video on the channel. Um, so we definitely recorded that one earlier than we're going to upload it. But at the time, it just felt like the most fitting one to do. And I didn't want to record the, you know, the darker, spookier theme runs too far from October. He said you can't use Hinox arms in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> that would be more of a four-handed sword, which isn't realistic. There we go. Okay. Turning off that, uh, Grocery store beeping signal. Okay. So in here, um, first piece of the armor was right in the edge, which we got. Then there's going to be another piece uh, beneath the third of these waterfalls. So right around there. And one by a statue, that's here too. So we'll just pin, uh, you know, just for helping's sake. That's where we'll find the other two pieces. And on top of this, well, 
There's a lot of good durians just right over here. And these will be really good for uh, just extra hit points so we're not purely a one-shot. And along this whole coast right here, there is tons and tons of bananas. So that'll be our attack up stuff that will pair with the bonus attack up set bonus that we'll get with the full set. And then also around there will be some good uh, bows. So we'll nab those. Hello, Lizzle Tribe. Oh. Whoop. No lizard business today. Only bomb business. There we go. <laughs> oh, right at me. Okay, hit the thistle. Do what you need. How about you come over here? Yeah, sure. Uh... Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> no issue, and... How are you not dead? That was a big fall. Hey, you too. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, no! Wait. Thank you, armor. Uh, <laughs> but he's gone, yes. Oh, hi, loot. Are we just not going to learn and get it anyways? Yes. Hmm, wait a second. Well, that guy's turned. It's fine. Sneak strike. Fall off. Yeah, there we go. And then, oh, no, you're a bow guy. Wait, just a little further. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Somehow that worked. <laughs> yeah, I get scared by the chest. Eh, it's so close. <laughs> we don't have a ranged weapon. Make your own. Come on. So close. I don't know why he doesn't see me. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, that worked. Is going to be helpful? Not quite, but... This is what I wanted. Yep. Oh. Don't break. I guess that's fine. Oh. Yeah, but on top of that. Open that. Ruby, just to buy more arrows. And stop, you guys. <laughs> You die first. Okay. These are so many. Oh, we're dying. <laughs> Omelette time. As soon as we get rid of everything. Oh, there's the Lizzle part. Nice. We'll just take everything for now. I'm not, I'm not. You actually remember coming here to grab the Yiga stuff for that one? Nice. Oh, take the eyeball and the balloons. <laughs> we'll have to Oct Rock, because most importantly, our first weapon we can use is a spiked Boko Bow be the first that uh, can get bone boosted with the full set. Which the bone boost is 80% uh, damage. On top of possible attack up. Yeah. Usually our goal would be uh, all, well, dragon bone weapons, but we can't actually get a dragon bone version of this bow from the start of the game. Because that's only achieved through scaling. But everything else will get dragon bone soon though. But bows will just be the weakest. Look at all that. Ah. It's fine. I'll supplement the Oct Rockets for now. Close. Did we get, yeah, we got both bows. 
<laughs> nice. Bye bye. <laughs> the buffalo. Yeah, a lot of spare parts for whatever need be. Hmm. Well, we like random little pockets. Pocket. For a sword, we don't need. Run away. <laughs> Mushrooms that we don't need. <laughs> Floating wall. Okay, thank you. Most importantly, put that up. And... There'll be some free wind. Yes! <laughs> thank you, platform. Held a good secret. Boom. Now we're back and you're alive. Yep. Not for long. Bye bye. Oh wait. Yeah, try to whack me. Just try. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, this is succeed. Here, get close. And why? <laughs> nice. Okay, that was a death. Right on the platform, too. That is now your tombstone memorial. That's we get for not listening. But now we have a whole uh, durian farm up here. Which will be very helpful. This time you'll have to stack many durians per uh, food, because... The goal is to uh, ward off one-shots. Here, I'm probably going to bomb each tree. It feels like Octorok City down there. It was, it was pretty rough. Yep. Okay. That, that. Doing good. Yo, what's nice is blowing up the tree uh, doesn't make the fruit fly right away. It just drops. Conveniently. Yep. We're gonna eat uh, two fishies probably. Or one fish. Yeah. <laughs> good cheap health for now. Random wood. You're getting all the durians we can. Because it's still the big biggest farming spot right here. Over that durian. Right? If you bomb the durian itself, <laughs> it's not as good. Sadly. Uh, we'll find it. Take the Korok one. Thank you. Unless I am blowing up durians in that too. Oh, hi, fish. <laughs> Just random fish in here? How does a fish live in there? Yeah, I feel like I'm wasting some of the durians. Oh, stasis? Yeah, I can. Okay, two up there. Always makes your day when I'm live. Thank you. I appreciate it. There we go. Oh, that's a log. I was like, what is that? Nothing important. Yeah, the stasis is very helpful. Thanks for reminding me. It like slipped over my head. I have to look it up definitely before we cook everything. The exact heart plus value each of these give. Because uh, I think durians are two or three. Yo, know, YouTube vids are amazing. Thank you. Okay, I want to say that's good. At least for this cluster. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, you're a spiked weapon. Just for now. 
We'll be taking that. It's a little something. We can always take an arm. <laughs> Thanks for the hand. That. Yeah, bombs is if they launch, uh, then they're a pain to find. Maybe it just like disintegrated that one because I didn't find it with stasis afterwards. Who knows? <laughs> okay, well, it looks like we have to get. We don't really have to get higher. Let's we'll just get a little bit higher so we have enough uh, space to cross over. That's fine. <laughs> okay, jungle at night. Oh, truffle. A lot of hardy stuff. And more guys with uh, bows. All these bows we can take pretty much. Nice, and one shots. Oh, and I spear bokos. Oh, I don't know if I want to take the bow it's when it's all the way down there. Okay. Keep climbing up the wall. Two and three. Good. Cause what we need is actually very close. Just at the base of this uh, third side waterfall. Just on the map. It's a very important uh, next step. Yep. Come here. Ow. Not you, ball. Rock. The Phantom Cannon Skull. There it is. Ah. <laughs> the head horns. We finally have the menacing face to go with uh, the menacing cape. There we go. Nice. <laughs> and with the bone weapon on her back. Okay, that looks really cool. Oh, will you stop? <laughs> We're two-thirds Ganon now. Now we just gotta get that last one. Just some Ganon pants. Of course. Too annoying. Okay. So it's up there. Hmm. Can we hit the drawn shot? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> drawn mode. Oh, and look. That's the bow from earlier. Arrows. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like the look of it without the pants. It's funny, but no, the pants are cool. Okay. Before it all slides off the edge of the world. Okay. Let's pick up these extra bows. Yeah, the damage outputs are going to be nowhere near uh, what we can get of a weapon. Oh, but it's still good. And right there. Lift it up. And boom. Nice. Okay. And with that, we already have four of the spike boko bows. Weapons we can't really get in the jungle, or more than likely won't. There is a better spot afterwards, along with shields, armor. But even for materials right now, we're looking really good. Uh, 17 of the hardy durians, along with some other side hardy stuff, which is all very good. Um, so we'll need the pants, which completes the set bonus for uh, the bone attack up. And afterwards, we can definitely get a lot more bananas for... A normal attack buff to put on top of that. No, we're doing really good, though. Minus the one death. Okay. You just double-check the object map, and you're right. For some reason, it doesn't show up under Dragonbone, but the enemies on Makar Island do have Dragonbone Bokobos. Interesting. Well... Depending on where we're at before the fight, we'll see if we'll take a stop there. So, thank you. I, d I, d I didn't know that. Wait. <laughs> Let me look that up. That's that's so weird. So, 
So Makara Island, I should be looking up. Uh, you're using the object map. And yes, I always put this on YouTube for everyone asking. Because <laughs> um, they're fun. Look up Stalba Coblin and it'll show up. Okay, let's do that really quick. So just on my end, sorry. Um, stall. Or Stall Coblin. Yeah. <laughs> I always forget they're not Stall Coblin, they're Stall Coblins. Dragon Boko Club. Dragon Boko Shield. Dragon Boko Bow. Yeah, what? There's one, or unless the other ones have one too. Stall Moblin. Uh, Stall Lizelfos. Stalfos. <laughs> Wait. Dragon Bone Boko Bow. Oh, now it's coming up. Oh, if you type it in as two separate wards. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> so these. <laughs> so never mind. Uh. You know what the issue was in the object map? They're all spelt out like one word, like dragon bone. Or that's how one of them is, but the rest of them aren't. So it won't be Satori Mountain, but there will be other areas to check. Um, yep, I know where I can find those now. Okay. Um, so we won't just have to rely off these. Oh, wait, no. There, there's a couple right here, actually. Um, yeah, there's going to be three of them just in the jungle. We can get dragon bones. So thank you, I appreciate that. Now we can use dragon bones in the fight, which are better. They're a lot better. Of course, I love the videos, thank you. Yeah, sorry, we just had to do that. Um, so yeah, there is dragon bone bokobos. Two of them are on the bridge, actually. So actually, thank you, because that came in clutch. I was like, ooh, luminous stone. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, the bows we all have, uh, the weaker tier, but there are a few dragon bones we can get, which are better. Oh, that would have sucked. Just go across. Nice. It's a fun weapon, but I can't have it. Ah. Cuphead OST is very good. What's he doing over there? Being annoying? Yeah. No time for that. Oh. Yeah. For some reason, I thought they all skilled into that. So, everything I said about that was wrong. I'm sorry. It is the object map has a weird uh, typo, I guess. Because you have to be, like, verbatim. Letter for letter, actually. Uh. Yeah, Kronos is so useful for water. It's a very slept on rune for that. It's like, it makes travel so easy. And it makes swim buffs near useless, so. And yeah. It's so basically for those of you tuning in, uh, yeah, we're just grabbing all of the Phantom Ganon armor and Dragon Bone weapons and just taking it to Ganon. So it's a one day challenge run. Um, and just seeing how a big clash out between Ganon versus Ganon can go. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to make it to the other side of the bridge for the final piece of the armor. But these guys have something even handier and a nice upgrade. Aha! <laughs> Stayed on the platform, which may not be good. I don't know if we can get it. Maybe we can. Hmm. We need to find a way to get there. Wonder if this works. Okay, it's slightly tilted. Then we just wait for it to go down. Whoop! And yes, it works! Okay, Dragon Bone Bokobo. This is the strongest one we can have. So it has 24 damage output. 
But with an eventual bone attack up, it'll do 80% more. And it can stack with a normal attack up for 50% more. Let's do that really quick. Um, so, 24 plus 80% equals 43. Yeah, so with the bone attack up, it'll do 43 damage instead. And then if we add the attack up on it, it'll do 64 damage per shot. So <laughs> that's how much this is all going to increase very soon. And that's not including headshots, which do more. That puts us in a good boat now that I know I can get these. Oh, shot guy. So a weak one to do the trick. Oh, kind of. Boop. Nice. And the bow. Okay, that one fell. <laughs> It'll be a worthy grab. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Shock arrows are nice. Okay. <laughs> we have to drop something. Fishies don't take it, okay? I promise I'll be back for it. Oh wait, I can take that hardy. <laughs> Before the bow, yes. More hardies the better. Whoop! Nice. Now where'd that go? Boko Amiibo will do at the end. Or right, now that we know we can get a lot of Dragon Ball weapons, maybe not. Or we can just do it for the fun. Get those guys too. A lot of hardies around these parts. It's so helpful. I've always used like durians as like my main source of hardy before. Don't always check the water, which uh, I feel like was a big mistake in my past. Yeah, with the headshot Dragon Ball Boko Bow, 128. The damage output's insane, but there's going to be a lot to hit through. We're going to have uh, 16,000 total health to hit through between all the blights and whatnot. There we go. Get ourselves to that. That's when we dropped. Yeah, just for fun, we'll do it. Could do Ganondorf, but we're fine. Boko's more funny. Nah. <laughs> okay. And with that, we can finally get the best weapon. Or... <laughs> why, why did I say weapon? Just alongside these statues, huh? <laughs> oh, it's a big owls. That's a luminous stone. I know, it's technically a Korok. Uh, gonna yank it out of your eye. Thank you. For Korok, too. <laughs> and we fell. And a beetle. Rare one. But just around this area... ...is the last thing that we need. Uh... Where exactly? Don't remember. It is somewhere. It's alongside one of you. We're just having a hard time. Oh, hi, Horsey. <laughs> oh my god, you, you came. Nice. He had to witness this event. Oh, just tucked behind here. Another special chest. Come on, Ganondorf. We gotta complete this together. EX chest and... Phantom Ganon Greaves. There they are. <laughs> the sick pants to go with it. And... With that... Boom! Full set, disguise, and most importantly, bone attack up. 
which is going to be insane. Because that bonus attack up buff uh, gives us 80% damage boost with any sort of bone weapon. That applies to the normal bones like this, applies to our spiked weapons, and most importantly, applies to the dragon bone too. So 80% attack buff. What do we say it was just with that? Uh, cause I'm dumb. So just right now, this shot, instead of 24, will deal 43. And with the attack up, it'll deal 64. So that's going to be insane. And attack up, we can get, well, a lot of it with these bananas still. And just over there. So we'll do that. <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll get the rest of the weapons right afterwards. Because we'll have to go somewhere else for those. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where the other one is. Uh, it's actually just, like, directly across. If we can get a good wind bomb, we can get it. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh. Woo. oh, okay. Actually, not bad, but not going to be a full climb. Just tad worryments. Okay. And right at the end. Whoa, nice. Last ditch effort. Oh, no. Not the goat. Oh, that was so close. It's about to undo all that. I think goats is truly evil here. We have a much bigger game, though. Take an arm. Oh, wait. We got it? Actually, what? Nice. That was a good throw. By right, standing on the, the grounded chest with Magnesis, uh, immediately pulls all the ground and makes you fly. Yep. I haven't done that in a long time, but I have witnessed that. <laughs> Clip it. Hey, the gentle links. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Oh, that's really nice of you. I appreciate it. Aw. Uh, it looks like what we're getting right now is just, uh, it's right there. So. So we already got the other two Dragon Bone Boko Bows here. Only other one in the jungle is going to be, uh, right there. So. Let's nab that in the bananas. Gives it a total of six. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate you supporting the, uh, the community a lot. Oh, yeah, the lightning. Yeah, with three shock, it nullifies all lightning, but uh, we would rather have attack up. Because the thing is, if we don't have constant attack up and bone attack up, it'll be a war of attrition. We might run out of weapons before we can win. Which we are trying to avoid that. Mm. This is the second one you can kick it up a notch and pick up the spear thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's a cool spear. Low damage, but a lot of shock. I like the second one weapons. Very fun expansion. Pleasure, you love supporting uh, the community here as, as well as YouTube. Well, thank you. Yep. No, I appreciate it always. I would say it's a pretty good community. Like, especially just all with the common interests of Zelda. Zelda fans are always cool. And we're all just in one place here. So, that's another big reason why I like doing stuff here too. Is because, uh, like, growing up, I just didn't have a lot of people to talk about Zelda with. Like... Not many people I knew, like, in person got into Zelda and just I talked to and, you know, online communities weren't as big of a thing, like, that many years back. Uh, but now it's just like, well, we have all that here and it's really nice. 
just to talk about stuff, nerd out about stuff, and yeah, just be fans together. <laughs> oh, we don't have the armor in Second Wind. Just quickly nab, yep, all bananas. It's a giant banana orchard. Whoa. Another spring. Oh! Oh, yeah. They're not dangerous. There we go. He has more attack buffs than we need, honestly. And rice. Oh. Oh, he's on what? Yep. He is right up there. Distracted by... Wait, where are you distracted by? What? He wasn't even looking at me. Who has the bow? It's you, isn't it? Uh-oh. Oh, there's many people. That is you. Luckily... Wait, we gotta go with that. Hop up and... Replenishment. Take it. Oh, wait, no. Drop it really quick, then take that. Oh! Ah! Okay, evasion strats and the arrow at the end. That was way too close. But successful? Yes. Very worth it for another dragon bone, though. Yeah, it's literally double the damage output of a spiked. So no spikes going into the finale. Only dragon bone. Low food. Lots of fishy. It has been a lot of fun so far. But we do have 20 bananas, and honestly, with 20 bananas, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So we can create, just with this, we can create six level three attack bo boosting buffs, each one at three minutes at least. Yeah, because we have 20 bananas, seven thistles, and we can also technically milk stuff out too with, uh, the beetle and monster parts. Possibly. I feel like maybe just grab a couple loose things and then uh, we can head out of the jungle finally. Nope, not those guys. Ooh, yeah, bad. <laughs> Wish I had a few more shock arrows. Actually, no, there's only a couple things I need to disarm. You know, yeah, just loose banana trees. We know what also? Yeah, there's there's that side too. Yep, just keep making our way uh, a little more westward. Northwest. Just alongside this giant uh, rocky canyon area. Not canyon. There we go. And take some more over here. A lot of banana trees. Always come in bunches of three. Korok is cool. See the minions. When you killed the White Lionel Master Mode before leaving the plateau, nobody outside the community will under understand your excitement. It it's a big uh, accomplishment. But yeah, if you never played, it's like... Cool. But we all know that's a cool thing. Okay. And this final platform, which is actually closer to the tower, which what's good about that is it's just more uh, of the durians, in fact. Just a few more. But yeah, we'll need many because... uh. We'll need at least, like, a few hearty things per each meal. Because the goal is to create a one-hit buffer, so we're not going to get one shot by any of the Ganon's attacks. So we'll probably have to combine, like, at least, like, four of these into one meal. Each, so. Okay. 
Okay. Well, well, well. yeah. And with that, yeah, 23 durians, 32 bananas, uh, some side hardy stuff, and loose tack buff. Just all really good supplies. We have the good armor. We could probably get two more of the dragon bone bows, but for right now, we have no shields and none of the dragon bone weapons. So we have to go to the best location to get, well, all those things, and honestly, that's going to be just over here with Satori Mountain. It's a giant skeleton location, great weapons, and we can just head off to it. And then, yeah, we'll have to cook the stuff, too, to make our buffs. But I'm pretty sure there's a cooking pond in Satori Mountain, and we have fire arrows now, right? Yeah. Oh, elixirs. Yeah, they're not super strong. <laughs> yeah, beetles are weak. You're right. Technically, we could redeem for another weapon, but um, it's literally fine. Like, weapons we're, we're going to be fine with. As long as we have the buffs, it won't be a battle of attrition. So. Oh! Satori Mountain's glowing. That means we can't get the weapons on there yet. Yeah, there's always skeletons on the mountain, except for the days it glows. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a weird coincidence. But it might stop glowing soon, so we can still make our way over there. And get random stuff. Du, 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 du. <laughs> okay. Pick up the herbs here. Sorry, Ganondorf. We'll get you soon. Uh, we can think of where... Hmm, one second. So for my planning here, because we got all the side stuff, but just mainly weapons. Uh, but since there's dragon bones, we can think of where to get the other two. Okay, very close to Satori. We're good. <laughs> Um, so you know like the Breach of Demise? Like there's that one like, uh, like that's big skull camp by that pass or whatever. Uh, we can get two Dragon Bone Book of Bows there. Okay, and then for this one, uh, Dragon Bone Book of Shields. We can get four just at the Ridgeland Tower itself. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, we can get the bows at the Breach of Demise. We can get the four shields at the tower. And then we can get the weapons at Satori Mountain. Okay, that's a good strategy. Uh, Dragon Bone. It's actually going to be Moblin Clubs. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, regardless, everything we need to, uh, well, fully flush ourselves out is just in the area. So, we can still head there. Yeah, I did the math to make sure we can hit through the 16,000 health uh, with the two buffs, and we can. Because I can total, like, a single Moblin Club, we'll, we can hit through, like, 2,000 health with. So, five of those gets to 10,000. The bows can do a lot. Uh, and there's still reflection-based attacks. And obviously, there still is, uh, well, just <laughs> regen. But I'm sure we'll be okay. Because we won't regen too much. And some attacks are easier to deflect. Like, the Thunderblight one we can get right away for some free damage. Yep, Satori Mountain in the distance. We can get a lot of good weapons there. And uh, just nearby, we can get more Dragon Bone Boko Bows and uh, Dragon Bone Boko Shields. It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, the Moblin Clubs are what we want. Uh, there is Dragon Bone Boko Bats, but clubs are better <laughs> by a lot. Yeah, Makara Island, we could. But honestly, like, I feel like we'll be okay. If we go to that stable, we can, uh, 
get our horse. I'm pretty sure we can sleep cycle out of the glow. Bow weapons by Wooden Tower? Okay. Can be first hour master more Ganon Rush. That's true. Yeah, we'll have more stuff, uh, but there will be regen. Oh my god, yeah, now that you say that, that's funny. It's like, I totally forgot. Good thing we're doing it with overpowered weapons. Okay. You can't even see the glow. The sun spot's just so big. We're close. Oh, there it is. Well, yeah, we're two hours into this. A little over two hours. Uh, but we have all the armor and most of the materials. Mm, so that's good. It's just the less, rest of the weapons and charging. Out of curiosity, why to skip Divine Beast in this run? Honestly, just because it would be too easy. Because uh, with Divine Beast, like, the stuff is very overpowered. Uh, we It wouldn't be much of a challenge. Like, I feel like the way, most fun way to make this run interesting is just grabbing everything we can just in kind of one go and taking that to Ganon. Because uh, we can easily do that, but if we had the same prep work for Divine Beast, it would not be a challenge at all. Like, this amount of prep work uh, is only fun for a straight to Ganon Rush. Because it's just very overpowered stuff. So against like an 800 health blight, it's nothing. But against four 2,000 health blights and an 8,000 health Calamity Ganon, yeah, I think that's more just better matched. The Radiant Bone one will work differently, though. Second ever Master Mode was a straight to Ganon. He died like a bazillion times. It was pure pain. And try Ancient Only straight to Ganon. That would be cool, yeah. That would be a lot easier, because uh, uh, all the Ganon-type enemies are weak to Ancient weapons. So, like, the same Ancient buff you get against them, like, 50%, also applies to uh, Guardians, too. Or... Ganons too, sorry. Uh, and that stacks with attack up and ancient proficiency. Okay. Well, while we wait for the mountain to stop glowing green, so uh, the skeletons can spawn, we can, uh, we can actually cook up those things that we got in the jungle. Let's do us a, uh, also we were just waiting it to go night in general. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to look up the exact uh, values because I want to make sure. Breath of the Wild cooking uh, all hardy values. So I don't see how much each will restore before we just go wasting stuff. Plus, I want to make sure too. Um, 28 minus 12, 15. 24. So I feel like we need like four temporary hearts for the first phase attacks. I just want to make sure we're utilizing the best because if I make like max ones, like it's really not because we still have our own hearts. Um, yeah, just to make sure we're utilizing everything best. I'll just throw like, let's throw three Darians in one. Well, that's a plus 12. Actually, that's really good. That can definitely save a one shot from like, from like Calamity Ganon. So the bigger ones we'll use uh, in the fight against Calamity Ganon so he doesn't one shot us. And we'll make smaller ones for the Blights who do less damage. Ooh, a critical. Durian's four, Big Radish is five, Bast is three. Okay. Another one for Ganon, because he's half the battle. Let's keep going. Yep. Nice. Make some smaller ones just for the blights beforehand. Yeah, that should be fine. Because that's 32 hit points. Totally fine. Also for Thunder Blight, because he has those elect extra electric attacks. Keep going. 
Nice. And then... Maybe two and two just for the blights beforehand. Wait for a blood moon for 100% critical. We're not going to get a blood moon anytime soon. Like, we'll definitely beat the game before a blood moon. So, I can't wait. Sorry. Um, truffles, I'm pretty sure, are weaker ones. You do the big hearty radish. And a truffle, maybe? That's not a lot. Maybe a okay one to start with. Do a nine, maybe. There we go. Now a couple more big ones. I feel like these are going to be pretty important. Or rather, maybe just one big one, because, uh, well, all we have left is four hardy bass. Yeah, put all this together. For an eight. Okay. Well, I'll say it's not bad. Okay, just for that, we have, uh, we have 12 of these. Some of them are only going to be against, yeah. Some of them are only going to be good against the, the blights. And some specifically for Gan Ganon, who hits more, so. This top row is definitely going to be the ones good against Ganon. And these lower ones will be good against the Blights earlier. So. Six to eight. And these are 12 and 13. Well, now we can just do our attack buff. Yeah. Let's do our attack buff now. Sorry, I can't talk again. If we do three bananas and two thistles. Yeah, four minutes, level three. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We can do five of these total. Get about 20 minutes of attack buff. I have a feeling that should be good for most of it, but you can't be too sure. And, and the last in the kitchen here. Three bananas, a thistle, and nut of rice might last longer. Maybe. <laughs> Oops, I forgot the exact times. Hmm. Just out of pure curiosity, what if we uh, did three bananas, a bladed, which makes it a level three, and like a fang? Oh, wait, that increases it more. Because it's an elixir, and those are better for time. But since we're using normal foods on top of it, we get the higher level buff. Because elixirs are nice because they're better for time, but not as good for potency. But if you're using potent food on top of it, then with the beetles from earlier, never mind. Throw that in. There we go. We get an extra minute. That's actually really nice. You know you can mix and match food with elixirs? Yes. Because uh, the food's good for potency. Elixir parts are good for time. So it's actually really nice. Or you can just do that again. Uh, except this time we don't have any more attack boosting stuff. So... We'll just do it all together for the last one. There we go. Nice. I don't think I have a... I didn't have any guts, did I? No. See? Yeah, gu If we did have a gut or a better tier uh, monster part, it would be even more time. But as it stands... <laughs> ignore the dubious. Uh, <laughs> we have... 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24-ish. Technically 25... 30, 35, 40 minute attack buff. I don't think we need any more than that. And honestly, to be fair, we could have gotten uh, a dragon horn from the jungle. 
But this was fast anyways. It was just all there. Because the Dragon Horde would have added or made it a 30 minute buff. But yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Yay for quantity, because we can. Oh, the amiibo first to get guts? Ah, bummer. <laughs> That's fine. Our time is okay. Okay, well... That's literally everything we need cooked in the run. We have the armor. It's literally just up to the weapons now. And... Come on. <laughs> Let us commence the last phase. Never have seen, you never see me have so much food except in the Master Chef run. Yep, I was, I was stocking up big time. Okay. Uh, we got to sleep to pass the time. Yeah. We'll just sleep to pass the time. We'll do a, a morning first. And then, of course, the fire isn't going to be lit. Please light fire. Why is it not lit? <laughs> Save the game and reload. <laughs> I'm terrorizing the innocent stable people with this armor. Yes. <laughs> we have a villain here. <laughs> They're in terror. Yeah. We are a tad freaky. But not to the puppy, though. He's cool. You want a bone? He does not like the bone. Oh wait, yeah, he's a little scared. Let's go uh, reload that save because I don't know why. <laughs> Going Ramsey prob with the cooking, of course. <laughs> I still have the amiibo run dock and the objective command thing. Really? Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I put it there just for last stream. I totally forgot to take it out. So thanks for reminding me. It's just, it just a little thing. It's okay. Um, Commands. Custom. I think I'm on the YouTube one. Sorry, I'm changing something relating to my channel. Never mind. I'm currently swapping... Trying to log into my Twitch one. For Nightbot. There's a Nightbot command. I forgot to get something out of the Amiibo run for the run command. Like an idiot. So thank you. Boop. And submit. We should be good now. <laughs> oh, it was helpful because you used to see the Boko drop rates. Nice. Yeah, through the doggy a bone. Okay. Oh. Looks like the mountain stopped glowing now. So. Yeah, now we can just go tonight and uh, get that skeleton stuff. Customer appreciation days after we beat your first divine beast. It is. I'm not going to use ancient arrows though. We don't need that crutch. <laughs> oh. Actually. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Really quick before I do. Yeah, take it. I don't care. There we go. Fairy tonic. Woo. Maybe bad for a Ganon, but oh well. We definitely got some nice stuff. Uh, a lot of nice stuff. Yeah, call it overkill, but uh... 600 some rupees. We'll just be nabbing your arrows. And give us 30 good ones? Okay. Well, the more the better. 67 in total. That's on top of our elementals. Okay. Well. 
Onwards, Ganondorf. There we go. Sue them. We got a very nice mountain to scavenge. And a lot of the guys on there will be uh, skeletons. So they won't even see us as a foe. They're going to be looking up to us before we slaughter them. For a good cause, of course. Party lizards look good. Nice. Oh, those are weaklings. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot of platforms for one little bridge. You're pretty close. Two and a half hours through, but, uh... Yeah. Definitely say we'll be around the castle area soon. <laughs> okay, just this way. And there's our mountain. A lot of skeletal enemies with uh, some of the best weapons we can get, which will be the Dragon Bone Moblin Clubs. Which have a lot of damage and decent enough durability. There we go, 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 go. Well, now I want to make sure we go in the best locations. I think it's literally just the forest nearby. Yeah, it's the forest to the left and then like behind the mountain. So we're good. Just up there. And we'll do that and we're good. Getting gradual suits. Maybe we'll have a max by the time we finish. There, up there. There we go. Keep going. We're doing good. A lot of Ganon energy is being radiated. Okay. Well, where are my friends on this mountain? Oh! There's a big one right there, with a pretty big weapon. Those are the type of ones I sought after. <laughs> there we go. Nope! Mine. Dragon Bone Moblin Club. There it is. The bone of an ancient beast has been affixed to this Moblin Club. A 45 damage weapon. Isn't the best in durability, but uh... Once we stack this weapon with our bone attack and our uh, normal attack buff, it outputs a lot of damage. If I were to do the math, it's uh, 45 plus 80%. Yeah, with bone attack up, it's 81%. Or, sorry. <laughs> with bone attack up of 80%, it makes it 81 damage. And with attack up, uh, yeah, with the full thing, it's going to do 121 damage per hit. So, that's a lot. And it lasts like 20-ish hits. So, all in all, probably I'll put a total of like 2,000 damage. Which is crazy against them, but reminder that uh, <laughs> the bosses at the Sanctum have a lot of health. Like, it's going to be like 16,000 total health to hit through. And with just the normal slots, uh, we're going to need a lot of stuff like this still. Yeah, it's very good. Oh! And look at that. Horsies. Wait. But he's not attacking me. Because he truly thinks I'm one of his own. Oh! <laughs> Ganondorf feels otherwise. Ganondorf does not like that. <laughs> look at that. We got a Dragon Ball Moblin Spear, though. Not as strong, but uh, it's very good for the range. Especially for auto reach attacks. We're still gonna be needing that. Also, I'm just like mid pickup. Here. Oh! Did my horse get me? 
Ganon Darcy, you're not supposed to kill everything. <laughs> I'm your phantom after all. Jeez, what was that? <gasps> that was a moment. <laughs> well, time to do it all over again. It's giving me the one, two. <laughs> Like, seriously, what was that? <gasps> that was a classic, though. Yeah. Dragon Ball Club is 24. That's really amazing. <laughs> yeah, surroundings disrespected. I tried to cheat on him? No. It wasn't like that. I promise. I just needed what he had. Me always trying to spur. <laughs> but it doesn't quite work with this horse. It seems like he's moving slow, but just the fact that he's so big. He is one of the faster horses. Not the fastest, of course, but still pretty speedy. It's just your sense of scale sort of. When actually testing it amongst other ones, yeah, it's still pretty fast. That was too fun. <laughs> I held the skull and he got confused. Yeah, he was trying to go after that in my hands. <laughs> Wait your turn, buddy. It's my turn to slaughter. Yeah, he's like a four-speed trotting. Cantering. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can find where I was. Just go to the death, X. That was a pretty glorious sequence. Okay. Yeah, he's not waking up because the buff. Yeah, no sense in wasting durability. There we go. Get that again. I wonder if a horse will follow. Who knows? Well, now let's save. To lock in that progress. Nice. It is such a nice armor set. I'm still basking in its glory. <laughs> okay, now. A lot of Octoroks, but... You know what? My horse isn't following me. Take a temporary. Ow. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Bone horse. Just for now. Oh! Uh, he caught on. No. I'm cheating on him. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, hi, rocks. <laughs> Karma. Um, sorry, we have to make sure we know where uh, the rest of everything is. So that one looks like it's going to be uh, kind of at this end. Do your worst. No. <laughs> okay, so just over here. Yep. <laughs> Some bees. Aha, right at the edge. Just another. He's waking up. Hey, go to your horse. He's not attacking. <laughs> yeah. See? He sees me as the leader, but also slightly suspicious. As you should be. Blah, blah. <laughs> Taking. <laughs> Tell me I can throw? Sure. Yeah, if that's what you wanted, game, that's what you got. Take that for now. <laughs> Brittle weapons, but they're kind of fun. Okay, and then the rest, um, I'm just going to make sure there isn't anything of value. Mm -mm. Okay. 
Those are for this side. There's three others on the other side now. We can nab. Let's do that. Save, of course. Can't register the bone horse, sadly. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of running around. Holy flowers. Ah, <laughs> I poisoned. Okay. Yeah, stable person says it's a monster and eat the other horses. We'll see die at 5 a.m. Sadly. Yeah, these are the only ones that are skeletons. AKA the only ones that uh, this suit will change. Oh yeah, also I forgot. Uh, Satori Mountain technically also has some durian trees. Not many. Uh, I don't think we'll need more though. But there is a few farming spots in case you need like one or two more dishes. If not more. Sorry, again, indoors. Also, what's this? Quark. I'm just avoiding. Like, I don't need quarks. Hi, birds. <laughs> They're nesting there. I ruined their home. It's 3 a.m. right now. Uh, we have two minutes to find the rest. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> kind of spent more time messing around, I guess. We climb the mountain fast, or at least get to the other side fast. We can bop them all down in a minute. Yep. Easy. Okay, uh... Yeah, it's really just right over there. It's not that bad. Oh. For some reason, I thought I was in the right area. I'm looking at the object map on the side right now, because I'm like... Yeah, I could have sworn I'm in the right place. We'll just save really quick. Oh, never mind. It's a little deeper in. There's a Korok. So I see where we are. It's... Yeah. So just alongside this back path of uh, Satori Mountain, we can find the rest of the weapons. Or at least a few more. We can get like two more of the giant clubs and another spear. So we're basically duplicating what we have. 355. Yeah, we're fine. How's the stream going? How am I? I'm doing good. Thank you. And it's fun. We're pretty close again. And saw that lightning. There we go. Two more strays. Make my days. There we go. Take them. Another. And last one just down that path. There it is. <laughs> See him right by the sunset. Sunrise. Same thing. Just opposite. There you are. Hi. I'll take that too. <laughs> Make sure we get him before the sun uh, kills him. He's my minion. I must do with him what I please. I guess that's good villain mentality, you know. If it's to your own personal gain, you can kill your minions. That's what we're doing. Yeah, besides, these are the Calamity minions. Not the Ganondorf Phantom ones. So, I will do with them what I please. But with that, we pretty much have... Oh, this one's critical ed, actually. Uh... But yeah, like all the weapons minus two slots, which we can fill with better stuff. And we'll need to. And those better things are close by. Yeah, very close. Yeah, we'll be okay. Hmm. Let me make sure. Do we have chew jelly? We do. Okay. Nah, not you. Just, yeah, right up there. <laughs> A little encampment. And these guys follow the same trend of Dragon Bone. Yeah, we're actually very close. I'm excited. Aha. 
Haha. <laughs> That's a giant pack of moblins. But those weapons, though? I could use two of those. Two more clubs. Here. Kite them all this way. We'll just nab. Use more of these guys. Well, that's a spear one, though. We gotta distract. Like that. One, two, and then just in the head to knock him back. We don't deal with spears very well. Uh, quickly. Stamina. Drop that. Drop that. And then go, go, go. Yes, we took him. Oh, perfect. I'm so glad we had the stamina food. There was a, the spear guy and a sword right behind me. And a lot of bows. But we did it. <laughs> okay, that was good planning. No shield still. Very clutch, yes. And with that, yep. Pretty much a full inventory of clubs. One critical at one. And two of the spears, which it's going to be good for reach, especially when, like, fighting, like, water blight and stuff. Because they float a lot. But now it's just a matter of getting, uh, those shields, and we can get two more good bows. And arrows, too, actually. Oops. Arrows, please. <laughs> yeah. Positive trait of three. Yeah, the critical, it's nice. <laughs> Surprise, one of them had a modifier. Okay. And yeah, just literally down the hill again. Uh, well, that tower and the breach below it have all the rest of the weapons we need. <laughs> Good clutch, thank you. Spears can be for chucking. That's a last ditch effort, though. All clubs together has 14,000. Okay. And that's on top of the spears and the bows we'll have. But bows are only good as uh, how many arrows we have. I might take another arrow pit stop before we do anything. Or maybe just find where we can get some arrows too. So I'm sure we can find an arrow chest or two along the way. Because I would say if we had like 100 arrows. Alright, this bow is like 30 durability, I want to say. Because the spikes had 20, I believe. Hey, do you remember when I DM'd you? Uh, had any tips for YouTube? And I suggested that you should do shorter videos. And you got a good amount of views and gained a few subs. Just a way to say thanks. Oh, I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, honestly, the best advice, just for like... For anyone who wants to start their own YouTube content, is... It's hard just making anything that will gain traction, like... Especially doing, just doing like shorter videos, just like little samples of what people come to expect of your channel. Like, that's a good way to attract people, you know? So, that's always like my best tip to starters, and hey, I appreciate it. Okay. Well, this area has uh, a lot of dangers, but all these guys swimming about pretty much have the dragon bone Boko shields we could use. So, we'll just have to fish them out. Hmm. Only problem is I only have two shock arrows. So we might have to bunch them up. Yep. You both see me. Both charge. We have to get you together. It's the only way. Just like that. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. We missed our window, didn't we? We're still gonna do that and find an alternative. Yep, get one, that's good. Take that, okay. Damn, well. We have two shields. No more shock arrows though. We could kill, but I'm not trying to waste these good weapons. Here, let's save really quick. 
I feel like there might be good arrows in these chests, though. Okay, we popped him. Whoop. Still spit at me. Uh, and to ward off the spit, pretty sure we can tank it with a full heart, so. There we go. Take that. Please be shock arrows. <laughs> I expect too much. Well, we still have two more shield slots. Yeah, still two more shield slots. Yeah, I want to get this one because there's a good chance it may be able to ward off at least a single hit. The other one's not. Okay. Yeah, honestly, maybe just outputting enough damage could be the trick to do this too. Hmm. What's our best way around? I don't remember exactly who it is. Uh, that's the problem. Wait, no, I think it's those guys. I don't need more fishies. Because they're like symmetrical guys. They all have like the same stuff. There we go. There's one right there. Another one right over there. Wait, I think we can ward them. Yep. I see our shields. Maybe if those guys shock them, but that's risky. Hmm. You know what? I feel like it's not a bad idea to get this a little test drive. It's going to use a little bit of durability, but... You know, we have bone attack up, and they're just a black lizzle. That's, that's, a, that, that's a dive move. Wait. Ouch. You know what? Why not? Wait a second. Two shots? He's close to dropping his weapon already. Ow. That's fine. Get the safe ground. Oh. Okay. <laughs> be, qu be quiet. Be stealthy. Do the bone shields get an advantage? No. Uh, but they're just fitting to the aesthetic. You know what? He's floating around right there. We have stuff we can use. It won't be the biggest hit. To use it now, so let's just do it. And like, honestly, with all that extra attack buff, we don't need that all. Let's just use a weak one. Screw it. We just have to have a little test run of how much damage we can really output here. Hey, you. How many shots will you take? That pretty much two shots, and he dropped his weapon. Wait, perfect, actually. Oh, not with the stamina. Crap. <gasps> ah. You did drop it, though. And that's all I care about. So you can buzz off. There we go. Swim after me if you want. Because that is all we need. And there's the clubs, which actually aren't bad, but... I just want to take the best stuff. <laughs> Three... <laughs> Okay. Well. Ah. Idiot cube. Okay. One more. Oh, this is easy. Just two arrow drain. Yeah. We got it. Whoop. 
sword it off while we regen stamina. Yep. You know, you're just going to be annoying, aren't you? Fine. You can get death. And there we go. <laughs> okay, that was very powerful. But against the Lizzle, of course it will be. Against the Ganon, uh, <laughs> we're still going to need a lot. Well, we do have a lot, but <laughs> it'll just take a lot of hits in total. But with that, we have uh, all weapons, all shields. And yeah, we can still get our last two bows just really quick. Which will be our very last thing before going right to the castle. Ah, Calamity Ganon's looming. I'm very excited. Yeah, we have way more bow durability than arrows. Uh, the goal is to pick up some more throughout, though. So. Because honestly, I think I can have like 150 durability. Or... I can shoot about 150 arrows. I can always warp back to uh, that stable and buy some at some point. Would I have two spears instead of clubs? Strictly for the range. Because uh, sometimes it might be good to hit something that's far off just to thwart its regen. Even though it's technically a little bit less total damage output than a club. We don't need all that stuff. <laughs> okay. And the two watchtowers is what we'll need. Just in the breach of demise. And they're just blue guys. Cute. Eat up. And... Oh, I shouldn't have dropped my good bow. But it's fine. <laughs> Pluck them off. Take that and the bow, please. Boop. Right there. Take them all. <laughs> Plenty of good stuff. No arrows that time. Guts would have been nice. But there we go. Okay, run out of here. And with that, yep. Weapons. All good bows. Shields. The armor. A lot of materials, but most importantly, a lot of good food. And the attack up to combine with bone attack up. So this stuff's going to hit very hard, despite only having, like, eight of them. We can still get messed up because the region, though, in Master Mode. So we need a lot of extra... Well, we need a lot of these extra weapons to make sure we don't lose to that. And arrows we can definitely do better, because we have more bow durability than arrows. So let's get that really quick. Oh. That doesn't help. Boop. Yep. Okay. I think that one's off. The other might be on. Either way, it's all blown down. Yep. Yeah. Just to ensure. I ah, had no arrows from that. Really? I don't mind drawing for this. I was hoping for bomb arrows. Hopefully I didn't screw with the loot. I don't actually know. That's a Royal Guard weapon in there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, at least this side <laughs> gave us some. Ooh, they're bomb arrows. Okay. Bit of extra damage output. Nothing too fancy, but more is more. Hmm. Where else can we get some arrows on our way to the castle? I guess we'll find them. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll drop. Uh, let's look at our optic map. I have to get a few more arrows. Arrow. Um. Yeah, those were both bomb arrow guys, but we didn't actually get them. Okay, uh, I know a few locations around Hyrule Castle right now. Sorry, I'm just looking. Um, yeah, so just right off the bat, we can actually get uh, 
quite a few. So we're just going to run to all those and do that. <laughs> okay, I'm very excited. We're close. We're just hitting the three hour mark. So <laughs> right about hit the castle. And then as soon as we get up, it's sanctum time. Wow. <laughs> there it is. We'll get some more arrows along the way. Maybe just a few, but uh, <laughs> that's going to be the big showdown up there. Ganon versus Ganon. Object map so handy, using it to plan uh, your retry at the cooking run. Nice. Hope that goes well. Yeah, it's, it's so handy. It's almost required for a lot of these runs. There we go. Mm. All right. Sorry again, Endorse, but we're here. <laughs> I'm... I'm so stoked for this. <laughs> Phantom versus the Calamity will soon take place. <laughs> so I can't get over this cape, it's so cool. And off we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. This is where the arrows were, one second. In proportion to the wall, where can I get that? Um, it looks like it's right in the center section. I just want to make sure I can grab, like, a thing or two of arrows. Oh, there was one over there. Sorry, I'm going to do this really quick. Okay. Just a few loose arrow chests around. Um, down here, right? Yep. Go get this guy. Five bomb arrows, okay. Yeah, slightly more damage output, which will be helpful. And then... <laughs> Guardian, no. Let's open one of these. I'm so glad they always uh, <laughs> threw Octrox at us this run. Yep. <laughs> You know, it wasn't a bad thing we killed all those Octox earlier. Despite how much they were killing me inside. Another five. Okay, good. Um. Maybe we'll find more throughout. There we go. 60, 70, 85-ish. Yeah, we definitely have more durability than arrows, but I think we'll be okay with this much. Like, that's a lot of arrows. Uh oh. Behind the tree? Yes. <laughs> Your calamity minions mean nothing. Because trees are better. Apparently. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, got the first taste. Let's let that be the only taste. Yeah, I guess if they move more, the trees don't help as much. That's That sucks. Oof. <laughs> Solar 15 bomb, good. Calamity 1, tree 0. Darn it. I mean, not that Ganon was ever one for nature. The other death was something in the jungle. What was it again? I think it was a bow shot. Oh no, it was that first one where I jumped off my horse and got shot by a skeleton while going to the jungle. That's what it was. Okay, well. I think this will be a better route here. Pop in. Nope. So unsatisfying. Hmm. These pillar climb strats. <laughs> this is the hell climb pillar. Ugh. Come on, go, go, go. How much can we make it? Maybe not well.
Yeah, no idea exactly what day I'm gonna be live. Uh, 17th to no, because I'm gonna be uh, out of town that weekend. Sorry. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I've seen someone do it before, but I, I never did it myself. Yeah, the bomb arrow nerfs do suck, but they're still more effective than normal arrow. It is not nearly as effective as uh, one would think with multi shots. Oh, yeah. When I was holding the enemy, that Ganon Dorse went dead. And uh, yeah, that happened. Okay. <laughs> oh, even more of a menacing swirl up close. Okay. Screw your malice. We only want Phantom flying. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Can you make it through? Uh, whatever just happened there, I'm not too sure. But we made it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, I'm coming for you. It's just him and his uh, four big minions. Icky light. We still don't like that. Mm. Okay. Well, no stamina food, but a lot of climbing. Oh. Yeah, dodge those. A villain infiltrating the villain fortress. Still has to worry about other villains. Huh. What's that? Money, thank you. Yeah, the Hyrule Castle team is amazing. We can all agree. <laughs> so glad I picked stamina over hearts all the time. All right, dragon parts are somewhere. Whoa. Oh, that's Cap. <laughs> Damn, I really thought I was close. There we go. Maybe jump from there. Boop. Boop. Now we should be good. Huh. Nice. Okay. Stray far from the turrets. Like when it gives you a little a kick up climb. Oh, that's a big one. We're gonna we're gonna restart that. I know that would have been bad. Actually, yeah. There's a t tree. Tree strats. Effective. Always. Oh, wait, nope. Almost always. Definitely. Okay, right on top of there. Uh oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Never mind bailing. <laughs> Damn, we were close. Whoo! Okay. Just stand guard. Okay. The villain climb. Uh oh. Okay. What? The explosion afterwards got us? It wasn't even the first explosion. It's just like a second later. Damn. <laughs> Tree lost again. Love how the castle has each of one dragon part head on the chest somewhere. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, that was so BS. All oh, right, yeah, it's gonna do that. I don't think we have the chest to stand on either. Nope. Burning damage got me. Was it for 12 points? I don't remember. I feel like it just might have been a light explosion. Okay. Be careful. He doesn't see us now. You're kidding. Okay. <laughs> Fine. You know, I got a side strategy here. 
<laughs> Only makes sense that I'll use uh, trees as my strategy. Because I am from the Forest Temple, after all. <laughs> That's still true. Okay, now go to this one. Yes, okay. Climbing two, tree zero. Now, get in its blind spot. Nice. Yeah, we are from the forest temple after all. <laughs> so trees do help. Okay. Let's go that way. Hello. And take what's in the tower. More bomb arrows? Okay. We'll need that. And as much as trees are my thing. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Flying is definitely way more so. Fly! No! There we go. <laughs> Wind bombing. I put it just hard in the castle in general, but maybe sticking to a better cardinal will help. Direction. But it's also hard to tell in the castle. We're just gonna assume that's right. Yep! Well, that was good. <laughs> Tuck ourselves right there. Not you. Side approach is pretty nice. Oh, another turret. <laughs> Heavily guarded. I really hope I struggle more in this part than the actual fight. Yeah, let's turn around. There we go. There we go. Gonna be annoying. So be it. There we go. Stun time. <laughs> okay, I bought us a little bit. Okay, very good. Stupid moblin. Oh, stupid window in my way. What? Where are you coming from? Okay. <laughs> Nowhere important now. Getting red in the sky. Can't get distracted by him. Oh, we can't really climb that, can we? Uh, if we got up top, though, we could glide down. Just have to avoid the sky. What are you even doing? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, fly around. We should be fine. Okay, good. Oh, crap. No, catch on. Idiot. Let's hope we get safe ground in a second. But he's flying around. That's not good. Okay, climb straight. Uh. It's ironic because this sec is just a stealth buff. Although that's not really used against these guys, but uh, it's just ironic, I say. Whoa. Nice, okay. We made it back. Now if we just get around, this should be a lot better, hopefully. Whew. He didn't see us in his blind spot. Love when Gandalf goes, it's Dorfin time. Dorf's all over the place. Isn't it the best scene? Okay. Now let's do this again and we can go above the mouse. Because this tower is tall enough. Okay, there's the sanctum. We're still going to go down. No more of your ancient minions. Just your slightly bigger ancient minions. Blights. Okay, um, I don't think we have enough stamina. We're gonna restart that climb. Here. Let's do it properly. With whistle sprint, yes! <laughs> that actually works. It's just barely not steep enough. There we go. Now we should be able to make that. 
Uh, can Skyward creatures hear, or do they only notice you if they see you? I think they can hear a little bit, but the main thing that's always going to get you is their uh, sight. So the stealth buff pretty much never has an effect. Unless you're just like... I mean, for Skywatchers, it's not really applicable. But like, in terms of all Guardians, like they have a little bit of a hearing radius, but it's so just like... Unimportant just uh, compared to their actual vision cones. So yeah, this buff pretty much does nothing. Okay, well, oh, he sees me. Uh, just got to launch off and hope that's good. It is good. Nice. Okay. So long to the malice. And hello to the sanctum. Here it is. Okay. Well, enter through the side door. But from here, got to make sure to equip our best stuff. Save up, of course. And here we are. I'm very excited. Start with the club. Obviously, our bow and arrows, a shield, armor, and for this, because it's a starter, six temporary hearts should be good to at least stop one one shot. And say so we go in with the attack buff. Let's see what happens. Uh, a Ganon versus Ganons. I'm only hoping the best, but <laughs> let's see who truly is. Let's go. <laughs> Boof. <laughs> All right. Officially pulling in. It looks so cool, the full, just the full get up. All right. Here's our first blight. Looks like we got wind blight. Okay. We'll do your worst. We'll let him make the first move. Yeah. Hey, go ahead and do your worst, Windblight. That's it? Come on. That's all you got? Seriously? Let me show you how it's done. One, two, and three. That's how we do it around here. And just a couple whacks with this. Yes. Come on. <laughs> He's acting like a dumb potato. And again in battle, did you really think he had a chance? You're stupid for thinking that. Oh. Good teleport. However, that's going to get him to half. Wind truly is the pushover blight. We're going full villain mode on him. Only just punishment. Oh, why are you glitching around? Better for me. Oh, tornadoes aren't good for me though. Those are still wipers. Oh, there we go. Just to make sure you can't regen. That tornado isn't going to be good though. Not at all. Okay. But we did survive a one shot. And with that, another one of those. Two X. Almost. But tornadoes are worse. Get around. Regen stopper. Oh, yes. Okay. We use the stairs to our advantage. Hit me again. That's it. Come on. Yes. Okay, little damage, big shot, and final. Nice. Okay, first blight down. I think Ganon's trembling in that big cocoon. If we keep it up like this, I'm pretty sure Ganon's gonna pop out early. <laughs> gonna be yelling at his minions. Whoop. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> big barrage, sure. Personally, I'm fine with that. Do what you need. <laughs> and just stay down, I guess. What good does that do? Besides not much. Yeah, I don't really know. That one's badly damaged. Come on. Might a good range. 
Is he not going to throw something at me? <laughs> He's just sitting there. What's that for? Yeah, these guys are easy because they're missing half their natural advantages that the beast would give them. But you know, it's Ganon's closest line of defense. He should have just had guardians in here. Oh, mm. not a huge fan of that one. Here, go with a nice shot. <laughs> That's it. I'm not going to be able to get him in time. Ah, oh, come on. That's a pretty fast regen speed. Oh, that was a pretty good spear hit. Okay, don't have like a lot of these. You're gonna swipe me? What's that good for? Find another one. Sends him down at least. Come on. Double hit. Yes. And spin? He's gonna stand down for me. No. Crap. That was still very good though. Don't want to deal with that right now. Is it actually gonna do something with the spear? Nope, it didn't get closer. Okay. <gasps> ah, just a little, little too pathetic. Jab. <laughs> okay. Did it spin to win? Yes. See, I'm being pretty nice to them, all things considered. Ooh, okay. Do you have anything I can reflect? Hmm. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we can start with that. Two, three, nice. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Some hope that didn't hit anything. Oh, crap. A lot of fire. And take it. Good. Okay. And in the eye. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Get to the halfway. Sure. Big critical. Damn. Yeah. These guys each have 2,000 health, so we're hitting through it pretty fast. <laughs> the blights aren't going to be the issue. But let's make sure that they're not issues. He's always going to regen past this phase. Oh, no regen. Good. Hit him with more critical action. Actually, we'll save the rest for Ganon. Second phase. Uh-oh. What's his plan? Because whatever his plan is, uh... <laughs> may seem tough, but not good enough for two bombs. What are you, Dodongo? Jeez. You should have learned better. Oh, no fire weapon, though. And one more. Oh, wait. Crap. <laughs> Weren't high enough. Spin to win? Sure, why not? Spin mode. Bye-bye. <laughs> no time for laser crap. But this guy I'm a little more scared for. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not as ready for him. How much did we get hit before? I have a feeling he might be able to one-shot us with the thunder. Which I don't want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't believe he can one-shot us. But also, I'm a little worried that he can. Not during the first phase, though. Okay. 
Ooh, he hit my shield. Damn. I have to keep that. All right. Make your move. Yes! Good move. And trying to bash through the shield. Okay. Should I lied. Of course he put Thunderbolt last. This is my first time doing the Sanctum in Master Mode. I forgot to mention. Heesh. Parry the lightning. Okay. We're going to wait till you can do one flurry combo. Actually, our attack buff ran out. I have to make sure I'm more adamant on that. Woo! Okay, good. There's shock. Don't hit me, shock. Please, thank you. Yes, okay. Twice and hit something. Nice, okay, good. That was a nice duel over. Three, boom. It's his second phase I'm really worried about, though. I feel like we might have to switch our hardy food, because with the lightning sword and everything, he probably can one shot us. Yep, just to make sure. <laughs> we need those extra three hearts for sure. There we go. Nice. Oh, wait. Bombs, please. Nice. Okay. Stop regen. Uh. Please. Of course, stop throwing your stuff. Woo! Okay, nice. <laughs> Big attack's deadly, but only if you get hit in it. Take it, take it. Boom! Yes! Uh-oh. It's laser time, huh? You really want to go that way? Yes! He dead. And now his shield's gone. Blow him off! Yes! Okay. <gasps> Didn't hit him, but the shield... Can't defend yourself. We rain hell. Okay. But that was only the, the, the weak part. Just as ancillaries are gone, the big Ganon himself is going to be a, a bit of a tougher problem. I'm sorry. Oh, man. My power isn't strong enough. I can't hold Thunderblight does not have 51 base damage. That is not correct. <laughs> sorry. But yeah, uh, he does have a move that Rapid Flurry. It hits you twice and shocks you. That could kill me. So that was the one move that Thunderblight could kill me with. The one that we flurried. Like, after the midway. Yeah, no, that was, that was so cool. Okay, but I'm also very excited. This is a good Bosch Rush. Phantom pulling in. Or does the spark sheet say 51 base damage? It's wrong. Like all those Blight damage stats are wrong. So that's why it's my next stats video. Okay, there you are. Oh, you, you grew a bit meatier. Yeah, 10,000 years didn't treat you kindly. Okay. <laughs> who needs a bait? Yeah, who needs a bane of evil's blade? We have your own clubs. <laughs> Should we start with? Yeah, that one. It's still pretty decent damage, but he can destroy us still. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. That's with 12, uh... You know, for that attack, I think the plus 8s will ward them off. Yeah, the plus 8s will ward them off. For most of them. Okay. That's still dangerous. The all are. Come on. Yes! few more. 
Nice. It's gonna slam down. Damn, okay. Uh, <gasps> slam down's getting me. Okay. There we go, take it. Uh, need flurries in here. Headshots are good too. What are you gonna do, Ganon? What's your move? The ball. That's what you're about? Haha. <laughs> well, it works better in my favor. Okay, get him. Our own slam down. There we go. <laughs> Imperiors. Nice! And we flirted at the same time? That was so cool. Uniful's just one, that's fine. It happens. Okay, on the wall. Okay, what's your move? Oh, that? Well. Come on. We can block with just one. Carry the momentum. Oh no! They're after me. Did not work the way I wanted it to. Okay. I semi stopped it. Got him down. <laughs> nice. Okay. This first phase isn't bad, but uh, phase two is Regen City. Nice. Two more. Good. I don't like that one. But we got it anyways. No fire. The fire damage can mess us up too. No bad damage. Okay. And the re arrows are mainly to stop regen. Nice. Last one. Free damage. No durability. And then two more. We should be good. We're good. We accidentally broke it though. Okay. This is the hard phase though. And yeah, you can't stun lock him. I didn't want to deal with that. You know what? Yeah, we should be fine in hearts, but uh. You do that, we can hit him. As soon as he attacks, he drops his shield. Just like that too. Two, three, go. Okay. Any and all opportunities for that we have to do. Okay. Which also means we need an updraft. We only have three campfire. We only have three wood. Thought we had more. Damn it. I was trying to build a fire. No updraft can be done. Eat through it. There we go. Counter the regen. Good. We need our attack buff back. <laughs> we still have plenty, but still. Whew. That can be an ender, because it does a lot of fire on top of that. Nice. Two more free ones. Good. He's going back in the... Nope, he's not. Just thought he was. We're finding holes in his strategy. Pairing through him. Okay. Switch to a better bow just in case. Oh, we didn't hit through it. We gotta go through it. Explosion parry. Oh no, our shield burnt up. Oh, so ready to parry it. Oh, that's not good. I was gonna regen all of that. Oh, we didn't shoot through the shield. Damn it. Okay. He <laughs> stopped at the halfway. We're reset. We can do criticals though. There we go. 
Slime Dome? No. Damn. Harder than it should be. At least we got that one. More criticals. There we go. Big damage. Ah, oh, come on. That was good. Switch back to that. We can't critical on the flurries. No, he's back to where he was. Again? One bigger hit. Very good damage. Going back on the wall, maybe? Come on. Now he's on the wall. But be very careful, because he's ready regening. Ah, uh, we hit him, though. Stop the regen. We stopped my health a lot. We have only two. We're only going to have one more after this. Okay. Can't deal with that. Do something that's easier for me. Oh, no. I was really trying. Damn, you are the worst. Ah, he's already at halfway. There we go. Take that. Take that. Ah, oh, come on. Don't go back in the wall. It's the wall that's killer. And we're running pretty low on a lot of weapons. We have to do this in one swoop. Of course, the wall. Not good. We still have some decent arrows, though. Back down already? Oh, come on. Nice. Good. Couple hits. Good. Do something counterable. Was, but we failed. Was, but we succeeded. Come on, Calamity. You're at like a quarter now. Damn it. Miss slam down. Don't go on the wall. Do not go on that wall. Better. This is so much. Okay. I don't know what it's going to be, but... Of course it is. Nice! We got him, though! I was too scared before. I have to be more confident in that. Go! Come on, Lester Ganon. Okay. Yes! Okay. And again? Nice. We're so close now. Is this it now? Come on. Are you really going to get Dragon Bone slammed? One, two, three, and goodbye, Calamity. Yes. Oh, we actually did it. That was our first go. Oh, wow. Phantom really showed him was boss. Damn. <laughs> the return of a classic. And the defeat of a new. Damn. We did it. Goodbye, Ganon. Woo. <laughs> yeah, who needs to wait for Link when you can just have some nice villain rivalry? Rivalry, whatever. <laughs> yes. That was very hype. I'm so surprised. All the deaths were just prior. That's okay. Calamity's got the L's. We won. Woo. Phantom Pog. <laughs> but that was very cool. You know what? That was my first ever Master Mode rush to Ganon. And, uh, well, we destroyed him. Ganon versus Ganon. All we needed. But, well, obviously, we're going to do our, uh, do this whole finale bet. 
But this is only the end of one of two, uh, <laughs> technically, I guess. I guess it's in time for Halloween sort of run. Or October season. Well, this run and then the Radiant too, we'll do after. And Dark Beast, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Great job, thank you. And Divine uh, Wonderlust, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Okay, well, we did it. And thank you, Obsidian Rock, for the tier one as well. Six months, awesome. Calamity 2, Tree 0, <laughs> Phantom 1, yes. Still can't even believe how much of a letdown the end of the game is. Can't think of another game where the final boss isn't even considered to be part of the game. It's not even a letdown to me, it's literally just uh, it's an interactive cutscene. Like, that's how I see it. And Climbing again is the finale. That's what makes it cool. Piggy Ganon. Okay, well, let's just clean up the run. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Divine Bow Ganon. All right. <laughs> and we have our horsey back. Ganondorf, are you proud of us? <laughs> wow, it was really the Phantom that slayed the Ganon. That was part of the beast was to get the horse to behave, even with Max Bond. I'm just being stupid. I get that. We'll be fine. Pew, 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 pew. See, he slightly damages it. Uh, yeah, if you know, if you shoot this guy uh, one billion times with your bow, like anywhere, it kills him. And if you don't believe me, just test it yourself one billion times. I'm, I'm positive it works. Okay. Boop. Boop. And another boop. A little too far, but we got it. <laughs> the music is great. See, as I was saying, that's why I love the Breath of All theme so much. This version, uh, the main version, when it's in the memories, and the opening cutscene, it's so good. So, so good. Yeah, I was very confident. And it was, oh, just for the battle. Yeah, you can still die. Worst boss in Zelda? I mean, to be fair, probably half of all 3D Zelda bosses are like this level with difficulty. Like, it's really not that hard, most of those Zelda games. Like, think to like Twilight Princess's boss, Wind Waker. Very easy. He's gonna try. <laughs> he is blind. Oh, hi, Rox. Belly shot. We're gonna go for it. Will the videos I make? Thank you. But yeah, this is gonna be uh, yeah, part one of the two uh, Halloween videos. I just call it Halloween because scary. <laughs> but Radiance next. Probably closer to the end of September. We'll stream that. Never died to dark, dark books on any, any playthrough. Yeah, that's almost every boss in Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Let's see. I guess more speaking from personal experience then. Spooky month, yes. That's the better way to say it. And hello. Goodbye. Bye bye, Ganon. <laughs> Only one Ganon now remains. Bye bye. Can't wait to get to the final cutscene because it's funny and uh, yep, <laughs> blue pillars. See, Zelda's gonna be really happy that she was saved, <laughs> but uh, I don't think she's prepared for the plot twist. <laughs> yeah, plot twist, uh, <laughs> it was Ganon. <laughs> this is how Breath of the Wild 2 starts. <laughs> She turns around, she's like, wait, what? <laughs> Ganon again. Starts playing organ music. Da, da, da. Like, it was too cool, really. Like, it was so cool to see the run all the way done through. Can't wait till the video comes out. Well done. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, this one, uh, so... Now I can explain what I'm doing fully. I don't know if this is over. So this run, I really want to do as a precursor, because for the longest time, I always want to do a bone-only run. And a lot of people suggested it, okay? 
But the thing is, uh, there's two sets that benefit from the bone armor. There's this one, Phantom Ganon, and then there's the actual luminous, like, bone set, like the Radiant. Um, but the thing is, since there was two, it's like, would I just combine everything into one run? I could, but it's two different aesthetics, and uh, they're both, like, different in their own ways. Like, you know, Phantom... With Phantom Ganon, it's just cool to, like, well, it's a very fast buff you can just get. You can just pick up the set and you have it. But with the Radiant one, you actually have to build up to it because you have to upgrade the set to level two. So I was kind of thinking, uh, you know, we did this Phantom Ganon run. And we got to use the most powerful bone weapons that are boosted by it. And Straight Rush to Ganon would work perfectly. But I'm kind of thinking now that with the Radiant sets, that's a set that also gets bone attack up, but we have to work towards it. And... We work towards that with upgrades to get the bone attack up. But what if we what if we had the radiant run? We have it like that, but we limit it to actual only bones and spiked weapons. And we do that with full divine beasts and Ganon. So this way we'll be balanced towards that. And then we also do a lot of side objectives like, you know, stuff like Typhlo Ruins and the Hinoxes, or the Stalloxes rather. So as this run was more of an OP bone run. The Radiant one will be a more lower tiered one, using just a lot of loose bones and stuff like that, spiked, four divine beasts, side objectives, and then the castle. And that'll be our main, just, <laughs> spooky month video challenge run after this. And that'll be streamed later this month and probably uploaded like late October then. So that's the one that I'm really leaning into. That'll be a multi-day challenge run. Um, but this one was just the OP stuff, just the dragon bone the quick and easy phantom armor set, and sweeping the castle. So, that's sort of our plan, and now I can say that because we finished this. So, yes, I'm excited for that. So, Radiant, only using bone and spiked things, and seeing where that goes. <laughs> and that way it's balanced, because if we put Dragon Bone in that run, it would be too easy, so. There we go. <laughs> yeah, thank you for tuning in, though. It was very fun. Um, We'll be going live again this Wednesday. Um, Second Wind, it'll be the Witch Tower that we want to check out. So I'm excited for that. Also very deep into a stats video, and I want to get that out as soon as possible. Um, earliest I'll ever get it out is probably be like this Friday, but that's like, you know. <laughs> that's like just a time frame window. Probably between like this upcoming Friday and like the next few days after that. It's a very big stats video, and uh, it's on... A subject that I researched into lots relating to this game's bosses, so very fun. Um, but I'll be working on that, and then down the road this month, not anything this upcoming weekend because I'm finishing the video. Next weekend I'll be out of town, but we can probably pencil in that challenge run for the following weekend. So that'll be uh, what will that be? Like the weekend of like the, tw the 24th, like 23rd, 4th, 5th, 26th, around there we can pencil in the run for. And yeah, in the meantime, we'll do Second Wind every Wednesday, and then I have my big stats video I'm working on. Yeah, sorry, really pumped with adrenaline for that whole battle. Like, I was really just... <laughs> I had to prevail, but it worked. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, always, this will be on video. This will be uh, released as a video. Same with uh, the other Bone Run we'll do. Probably both October uploads, because, uh, I don't know, I just want to create some cool theme videos for Spooky Month. <laughs> so... And yeah, less of it like this, but when I edit it together, it'll definitely feel more that way. Um, although easy pass Zelda bosses are more fun because each boss is like a puzzle. That's true, yeah. But it's more so fun on your first playthrough. Doing it again just feels good for the cool factor. So for someone who loves replaying the Zelda games, I much prefer finding the Blights, who are, you know, different every time and there's a lot to learn, rather than lock and key old Zelda bosses. But compared to like, just holistically, most of those bosses are better, you know, because most people just play a game once. I get that. Um, <laughs> yeah, all fun bosses. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'm just letting these credits roll out, but we can skip them. Thank you for watching, though. We didn't do Pokemon Amiibo. I kind of forgot, but literally anything that dropped, we would have not been able to pick up anyways, so maybe we'll do that for the the bone run just just for the funnies so it'll still be used because it's honestly more than likely it'll drop the spike thing and we can use that in the run so yeah we'll do that uh i'll announce that later in our discord otherwise second win wednesdays as 
as long as we still have things to do in that mod, which will be a while, stats videos, and yeah, uh, probably just anything in between. I'll probably be chatting in the Discord server after this, or a little bit throughout the weekend. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you know, just a crazy adrenaline boom. <laughs> Big battle. Always fun. But it, was, it was a lot of fun to prepare, and it's like, definitely going to edit in a way for people who want to do this themselves. It's really awesome to have all this, like, good loot in, like, one area. So, like, just going to Faring Jungle, getting the bananas, durians, and armor. And then just the Satori Mountain there for the weapons. Like, you really only have to go to two areas in this run to get good stuff and then do this. So, it's very cool. Um, but, yeah, we'll do more stuff in the future. See you guys probably on Discord over the next few days and uh, second win on Wednesday. So, thanks for tuning in. It's always nice to see you guys here and just chill and have a good time. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to what's to come. Hopefully a direct too. Maybe September direct. That'll be cool. So thanks for watching. Really excited. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Actually, wait. Do you guys want to raid someone? <laughs> Sorry. Maybe just that'd be kind of fun. You know, I kind of forgot to do that in the past. Uh, maybe just like a, a Breath of the Wild stream and be like, let's raid someone. Let's do it. Because <laughs> I know some people asked last time, but I forgot. And then, uh, Okay, awesome. Let's do that. I'll still be in Discord a little after, though. So, um, let's uh, Breath of the Wild streamers, preferably, because, you know, coming from the same thing. If anyone has an exact suggestion of someone that they like, but, uh, last raid was Ocarina of Time. It was a while. I'm just looking through a list right now, uh, Someone's doing Relics of the Past Trial of the Sword. That's kind of fun. Hey, there's me. <laughs> I searched Breath of the Wild and it was like the 30th stream. Funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see what you guys have. Yeah, it's Zelda streamers, honestly, because like... Mm. One second. I yeah, don't mind. I'm just looking through a few, so I'm sorry. If I'm just like silently looking. Uh, Orcist. Okay. Um, one moment. I'm just clicking on it to make sure like they're there, cause like the worst thing to happen is to raid someone and they're like on like a little break or something. Yeah, you want to raid Orcist again? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Uh, so Orcus GC, they're playing. Um, so they're doing a co-op. It looks like a bingo thing that they're doing. That's cool. Yeah, let's raid. Let's just say hi. So that'll be kind of fun. So uh, I will put that in. Let's see if I remember how to raid. <laughs> uh, video producer. Yeah. I'll stay in for a bit and chat and we'll have some fun. Uh, when, sorry. I'm not, I'm not very fluid with Twitch stuff. Uh, how do I raid? How do I raid? <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm going to set a raid link. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And... Uh, Raid. Boom. Orcist. Start raid. Okay. Everyone join or whatever, and then I guess it just goes automatically over. Um, yeah. It, is it working? <laughs> Me not understanding how the raid works. Ready to raid? Uh, 52 viewers are ready to raid. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Goodbye.